danger zone. Snowflakes, beware. For the next three hours, your asses belong to Metal Bully and the Roach. Uncensored talk and the best metal music. If you can't handle it, you must be gay. 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 Seven Seas. Kings of the Seven Seas. The Kings of Seven Seas. Yes. Because we're gay pirates. <laughs> <laughs> gay pirates. Oh my God. We're ass pirates. <laughs> the butt pirate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh. What a way to start the show. What a way. What a way. What a way. Hello, everybody out there in Metal Bully and the Roach community. Yes. Welcome. Get in the chat, you fucking pricks. There's only like 10 people in the chat, and two of them are us. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's more people fucking listening. You know, if I looked like Jet, I'd have a lot more fucking people in the chat right now. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably, <laughs> definitely. You can look at me and look at Jet. Yeah, you know, I see the difference. Yeah, she got me in a lot of trouble today, that Jet. I'll tell you. <laughs> Home wrecker. <laughs> then fucking Dave Softy's coming on adding fuel to the fucking fire before oh, on my that's, page. That Softy guy. Oh, he's unbelievable. And the prick's <laughs> not even in the fucking chat. Uh, you know? He's probably passed out. Yeah, he's probably got a Softy right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's happening, people? What's going on? I'm overwhelmed with feelings of love. And affection for each and every one of you. Overwhelmed. Roach, you better hope I don't get <laughs> overwhelmed with feelings of love and affection for you tonight. So that your pockets get tightened. Yeah. <laughs> Both inches. <laughs> hey, you're all right, man. I like midget porn and fart porn. I don't like Mexican <laughs> porn, so you're safe. Oh, boy. If I like Mexican porn, you'd be in big trouble, pal. Why? I'm not Mexican. Listen, you got fucking people fighting outside my window again. Dude, really? Do I got to fucking move? Maybe. Do you hear this? I hear it. It's a fucking drama. I got to go. You know, I can't even. This this fucking. Ugh. Ugh. I have to fucking get up and close my fucking windows. I can't even have fresh fucking air coming into my apartment because I got these fucking degenerates that live fucking in this apartment building that are fighting constantly. Outside, banging on doors, kicking shit around. Wait, you'll hear it later on LeVay, when LeVay comes on. <laughs> oh, yeah. we Because we pre-record LeVay. And we had fucking people fighting out fucking side the other night. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm going to move. In. I'm going to have to move in with you soon, Roach. Oh, no. <laughs> you, can sleep, you can sleep with Shadow. Yeah, with the dog. <laughs> See this prick? Insubordinate, you fucking prick. He's going to stick me in the fucking dog house already. Hey, I, I go to sleep with the dog every night. Dog don't fucking use it anyway, right? No. Yeah. I fall asleep on the couch. He sleeps next to me. I wake, <laughs> I wake up like three in the morning, go upstairs to bed. <laughs> <laughs> He gets too drunk to drive home. I mean, he lives right around the fucking corner. I don't even know why he brings his truck when he could walk. Well, it's starting to get chilly out now. Yeah. We do it, please. Nigger, please. Just put a fucking sweatshirt on and walk, you fucking pussy. I have a sweatshirt on. And well, put two on then, prick. I'm Puerto Rican, remember. I don't like the <laughs> yeah, cold. Yeah, he's used to the tropics. <laughs> Where's LC? He's... LC, are you in the chat? Or are you picking fucking cola nuts? He's getting the cola nuts. I, I, got got fucking, I got fucking kids running around out here and everything out here now by my windows. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a fucking couple tacos out there and let them fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Jesus fucking Christ, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Bro, Crazy Rob, uh, Robin, where's the Del Taco at? Where's my Del Tacos, Robin? <laughs> she fucking is telling me before. I didn't even eat, I ate soup today. Ugh. Because I got so fucking disgusted with my life. Soup, that, is, that I lost, soup is not even food. That I lost my fucking appetite. And she's, then, then all of a sudden she starts talking about, oh, I just ordered three tacos and too many quesadillas. Too many quesadillas. I'm like, you fuck. <laughs> Don't tell me that shit. No kid. Holy Christ. Please shut the phones off, everybody. My phone's off. Yeah, well, I got to shut mine off because I'm getting oh. notifications here. Because you're a jackass. I tell you all the time. This is part of the excitement of the Metal Bully and the Roach show, though. It's live. It's like you're hanging out with us here. 
It is. Very unscripted. At Shea Bully. Of course it's unscripted. Unscripted, unrehearsed. Real radio, real talk radio is unscripted, pal. That's the way it is. I know. It takes talent, chemistry, and coordination, <laughs> which we don't have any of. I think I got one, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any of them. Holy Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Where is everybody at? 12 in the chat now, so that means we got 10. I told you. It's uh. It's what? It's we're just getting started. Oh, okay. people show up, man! People show up. Right, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, we got some great prank phone calls for you fuckers tonight. Oh yeah. Oh, we got good shit. We got good shit coming up. We got Vince Vatican, the favorite son of Sandusky, Ohio. Hmm. Yes. We got some good shit, people. Are you guys ready? I don't think they're ready. Do you think they're ready, Roach? I don't know. They might be ready. I think they might. I think they're ready. I think we're ready to go. Well, let's kick it off. You want to kick it off? Let's kick it off because we're going to wind up going over time anyway. Yeah, we are going over time. <laughs> we're way over. All right. So let's kick do it. Nick, bro. Let's do it. Let's do Good it. Good evening, Thanos. Yeah, so hello. Hello. How are you, sweetheart? I'm good. How are you? Hey, I'm hanging in there. Well, what else can you do, though, right? Right? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Hey, what's going on with the uh, reservations for two over there? Uh, we only take them for large parties. Large? No for two. Holy Christ, are you telling me I need to bring five or six more of my crazy family with me? <laughs> yeah, if you want a reservation. Oh, what if I want to just want to bring one uh, a wife that's a little on the larger side? Yeah, it's just for some for serve. I could bring her? Yep. I don't know. You don't know my wife. You better think twice about that. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you a question. Yep. You guys got it, um, the dishes from the Napolitan. I'm sorry, what was that? I'm Napolitan. Napolitan, oh, you know, Naples. I'm from Naples. My family. Uh, yeah, we have some Naples dishes. Yeah, my familia, you know, my familia is Napolitan. But my wife, she's not, you know, hey. I want to bring her to have some real, authentic uh, Italian food. Yep, you can come on down. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, she, you know, she likes that. Like, she don't know no better. She likes that, like Elio's pizza and uh, uh -huh. you know, frozen, uh, frozen, uh, and, uh, well, what do you call it? The uh, raviolis from the shop, right? Yeah, she's ignorant. But hey, do you you got tartufo? We do have tartufo. You got yeah. tartufo? Cause she likes yeah. that. Hey, she's a fat fuck, my wife. You know she likes the tartufo. She skipped the dinner and just goes straight to the tartufo. That broad, I'll tell you. How about you got on a uh, good wine list? Uh, we we're actually gonna bring your own. What? Oh, don't tell me, tell me that, because she's going to want to bring, you know what she's going to want to bring? What's that? She's going to want to bring that uh, Mad Dog, uh, Mad Dog Fitty Fitty. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, she likes the electric melon. Yeah. Well, Ada, you can bring your own wine, sweetheart. You can bring whatever you want, sweetheart. That's what I told you was gonna want to do, sweetheart. Fitty fitty. It's really 2020, but I let her think that it's 50 50. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she ain't playing with a full deck. All right. Hey, but if I get okay. her, if I get her loaded enough, she takes care of me. You know okay, what I mean, sweetheart? Right. Hey, you sound cute. What's your name? <laughs> okay, all right. We'll see you soon. Thank What's you. your name, sweetie? Come on. No. Tell Uncle Louie. No. Tell Uncle Louie how old you are. Let me change it up a little. 
Ali Zikon. Yes, hello. This is Ali Liquor Store. Yes. Yeah, how you doing? Good, good. Yeah, I'm going to call you because um, y'all damn near choked my husband to death. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that nigga went, that nigga come home with a bottle of um, mezcal. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And then that nigga, I told him don't try to eat the motherfucking worm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that nigga be stupid. That nigga mm-hmm. go, that nigga, he don't even, he don't wait till the end of the bottle. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He hold his, he hold his tongue on the end so the worm be floating down. You know what I'm saying? And that shit going in out. And then and then nigga he spit that shit out. And I say I say, Louis, Louis, why y'all spitting that goddamn worm out? He go, look, look what he did. It's alive, it's alive. I thought he was crazy. I thought that nigga was tripping, yo, you know what I'm saying? But that shit, yo, that shit was alive, yo. That shit was wiggling around on the motherfucking table. <laughs> Hell okay. yeah. Okay. What's your kind of mess cow your niggas be serving there? Yes, uh, you, uh, you come. I open on the um, 12 o'clock, the midnight. You open till 10? Uh, I don't know. You come. You come, maybe. I'm going to come, and then what you going to do? You almost killed my husband, man. That nigga almost choke on a live worm. Uh, okay. How that nigga... Okay. How, Yo, how that worm be alive still in that motherfucking bottle, yo? Okay, you come. Uh, I talked to the manager. Close to night, midnight. That nigga there now? Uh-huh. That nigga be there now? Yeah. Put that motherfucker on the phone. Okay. <laughs> It up. That's why I count you why down. Why we're on? Are we on yeah, now? We're on oh, now. Jesus Christ, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> that was Roach's peeps on the other end of that fucking crank, man. Oh yeah. That's why I couldn't understand the fucking word that guy was saying, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Trump need to build that wall. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them fucking taco folders out, bro. <laughs> taco <laughs> folders? What the? <laughs> what are you going to end up eating? What are you going to end no, up eating? The question is, what's fucking Robin going to end up eating? No more if, Del Taco. If, if, if Trump builds the wall, no more Del Taco for you, fucking Robin. <laughs> wow. I will get the roach over there. He'll fold some tacos for you. <laughs> Oh, man. oh God! Yeah, oh, wow. Nigga be choking yo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I entertain myself. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Is that, is that why you always have your hand on your crotch? I do do that often, <laughs> don't I? Well, you're trying to entertain I yourself. I do that often, don't I? Yeah. I fondle my fucking gullions a little too much, man. Maybe. I, I got to ax my uncle about that. <laughs> ax him, yeah. They got to ax him. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Louie, do you fucking fondle your gullions? <laughs> <laughs> he'll be in later. He'll, he'll be stopping by. Oh, Lord, help us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. By the yeah. time he comes in here, he'll be half in the bag, too. You know that. You think? I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I don't think I know. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. So how's everybody doing, man? You guys having a good time? I hope you're having a good time because we're having a great fucking time over here. Yeah, man. No doubt. What do we got? So I think we should say hello to everybody in the chat. What do you think? Let's say hello to everybody in the chat. Since I'm feeling so overwhelmed with love and affection for each and every one of you. And his pockets are getting tight. (laughs) That's why I'm (laughs) grabbing it. (laughs) Oh uh, Lord! You gotta That's help me out because my what? eyes are so fucking blind that I'm gonna be banging my head into the fucking mic. All right. So come First on, off. read them off, Roach. Come right. on, Roach. First off, on top of the list, Earn your we fucking have keep. Who? Jet. Oh, the yeah. Almighty Jet. Home wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> the lovely Jet. Wow. The lovely Jet. No, you did not. Oh, oh no, you didn't. Jet gave us some wonderful plugs today on her show. Yes. She plugged the show, and she also plugged my attacker gig at Ralph's Rock Diner <laughs> this Saturday in Worcester. 
Wooster. Wooster. I told you it was Wooster. You all jet corrected me. I corrected you first. No, but I heard her say it. So when oh. when she all said right, it, all right, all listen, right, prick. When she I said it, it became legit. Going. Yeah. <laughs> I see where this is well, going. You, you don't look like Jet. So if you did, <laughs> <laughs> do I have what's any brown? brown on is that nose? brown on the end of my nose? Do I have some brown on my nose? <laughs> you got some shit Wipe on your off. nose. Yeah. Well. Okay, pal. <laughs> All right, tough guy. And look, LC. I see the LC from here. I see LC. Where, where you at, LC? Are you there? Are you there? I'm picking cola nuts. He's getting the cola nuts. <laughs> <laughs> the Ancola. The Ancola. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might drink the Coca-Cola. But do you want the own cola? <laughs> you have to pick the hairy coconut. <laughs> the hairy cola nuts. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ. I'll see you. What's going on, buddy? We love you, bro. <laughs> we love you, man. Who else have we got? We got Robin. Little Miss Robin. Miss Taco fucking, what is it? Del Taco? Del, Del Taco. Robin Del Taco Rocks. Del Taco Rocks. Who else we got in there? We got Crusher. I don't know if he's on or what. Crusher. DJ Crusher. Look, Dane McClinic, my Uncle Louie's buddy. Yeah. I think Dane is a connected guy. He's connected. He <laughs> has pictures of vaginas on his head, so I don't know. <laughs> what? He a picture of vaginas on his head? What'd you yeah, say? Yeah, remember the vagina hat? Dane, you got vajayjays on your head, bro? <laughs> what the fuck's up with that? I saw him with the pink hat. Yeah. Yeah, but he's just goofing. I know that. He's making fun of the libtards. 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 Libtards suck. I know. No, we love you all. Everybody. It doesn't matter what political uh, affiliation you stick to. As long as you listen to the show. As long as you listen to the show. <laughs> give a damn, we, we love, love you. We love you. That's right. <laughs> I, I'm, my pockets are tight for you. Who else we got? We got Miss Grace Jones. Oh, Grace Jones. How are you, Grace? How's it going, Grace? And, Grace, uh, girl. You got a Jeremy Vega. I haven't seen him doing anything before. Jeremy I mean, Vega. That sounds fucking familiar, man. He comes in every now and then. I've seen him. And then... Uh, I haven't seen anything him as far as posting in the chat, but I don't know. Joe, Joe Moore. Moore of X Blood Feast. Right. We'll get into that a little later. We can actually say X Blood Feast. X Blood Feast right now. Uh, but he will be looking for new opportunities, and we are willing to help him in any way we can. If anybody's looking for a sick-ass drummer. Yeah. For an insane drummer, Mr. Joe Moore is yeah. available. Yes. So I can be his acting manager. Contact me if you'd like. Joe, I want to cut. He can, he, well, if you're acting, you're just pretending. So no, you don't, go you get fuck yourself. You get I want to cut, Joe Moore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> Who else we got here, prick? Legion Base. Oh, it's Artie fucking Maglio. Yeah. My, another buddy of my uncle's because he's a guinea. Yeah. I just, immediately. I was just on Facebook. I told him. Joining on Get the chat, your we're live ass now. in there, Artie Magdalene. And he came on. And What's up? The Bigfoot hunting motherfucker. I heard, I thought you said they were scared. Well, he skirt. He got skirt when we went up there and uh, it was dark. We out. stopped at Pennsylvania, or no, Pennsylvania. <laughs> it was actually because we lost all service as soon as we got up there. <laughs> <laughs> and I started telling stories about Sasquatch, and me and Artie were supposed to go out there. He and already got skirt. Got skirt. Nigga got skirt, yo. Oh, snap. It's like, fuck you, dude. I'm not going out there. <laughs> it's dark. I don't have my Glock with me. It reminds me of the Bugs Bunny. <laughs> yeah. Remember that Bugs Bunny? He's running up the stairs away from the monster. He's like, he comes running back down. Don't go up there. It's dark. <laughs> dude, I could have got him out there. You know how I could have got him out there? Mm -hmm. If my Aunt Wahida was there, oh. and she said, Artie, if you goes outside and hunt Bigfoot, I'll suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's trying to say, hey, mountain lions are up there, motherfucker. Artie, I will suck your motherfucking dick. <laughs> if you go out and look for Bigfoot. <laughs> and Wahida, what are you doing here? Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> he's supposed to be here. 
And we'll see. Oh, and we got right. Mr. Matt Westlake. Matt Westlake. He's a uh, new person in the chat. Thank you for joining us, Matt Wella M M Matt Westlake. Yeah. Stop giving me shots, Roach. I'm already <laughs> fumbling. <laughs> Oh, that's part of the show. People want to see how fucked up oh, you people get. want to see how fucked up you get. <laughs> he gets so fucked up by the end of the show, he can't even talk. This <laughs> you fucking can't, guy. And you can't talk now, so yeah, let's I see know. what happens later. <laughs> oh, and less and less and less people are in the chat. Wonderful. It's just a great fucking sign. <laughs> <laughs> Turn like as soon as he said libtars are like, all right, we're out of here. We're out of here. We're out of here. We gotta go. Yeah, these guys, you know. We're mm. out of here. They're Trump supporters. We're out of here. Nah, We're actually not. I didn't even vote. I didn't vote at all. That's your own fucking thing. I did. I voted. Who'd you vote for? Bernie? I voted for... Don't tell me you voted for Hillary. No. Benghazi. <laughs> I voted for Trump. Did you? Yeah. Trump's... Hey, he's a Trump guy. Kill this fucking guy. And I didn't... That's the first time I ever said that, too. Trump's all right, man. I don't give a fuck. Trump, Trump's well, actually it, well, doing some good stuff. It's the mass media that's fucking with him and demonizing him, you know. I mean, you know, guy ain't got no fucking political fucking background, but, but that's he's a we, great businessman, I'll that's, tell you that. That's what we needed. That's we it. needed someone that wasn't around. Get this fucking place. And just like this New Jersey tip election top, just happened. Oh, my God, top, I can't shit. believe. What? Oh, God, don't even go there. I know. You guys hated Christie, and we got somebody even fucking worse now. Yep. So congratulations, New Jersey, you fucking morons. You stupid fucks. Especially the guy actually said... Raising he's taxes. I'm going to raise the taxes. And he's going to make a fucking... Make uh, a sanctuary a Sanctuary state. for the fucking uninitiated. And stricter gun laws. <laughs> Hello. It's hard enough to get a gun now here in Jersey. I think we have one of the, one of the strictest laws, gun laws. So let's invite all the riffraff in that are going to get guns illegally and put stricter gun laws on people who fucking can own them, who can own them legally. Mm -hmm. That's a smart fucking move, pal. Smart move. You saw what happened in Texas, right? This piece of shit fucking went out there and killed fucking 25 people, injured, what, a dozen more? Something like and that. because of NRA members, legal gun holders, they stopped his ass. Yep. So let's make tougher gun laws here and invite riffraff in that are going to come in and deal drugs and whatever the fuck else you have and pack fucking heat illegally. Smart. Right. Intelligent. Very intelligent. The only good thing probably about this whole There's Murphy nothing thing good. would be the decriminalization of marijuana. Mm, yeah, okay. But I don't smoke I don't, weed don't, no don't, more, so no. I don't smoke weed either. <laughs> <laughs> if I still smoked weed, yes. That'd be fantastic. Well, you know what's going to happen is the government's going to take it. They're going to tax it. It's going to be too expensive. Yeah. And then you're still going to have dealers out there dealing it for cheaper. Yeah. Weed makes me fucking paranoid, so I don't give a flying fuck about that shit. Hmm. I smoke weed and I'm like, I can't wait till I fucking get off. I can't wait till I get off it. I can't wait till it goes away. I get paranoid. I'm Look, peeping out like, windows. I'm looking out like fucking, AJ over there. Dude, I, I'm like, it's like I'm coked up or something, bro. It's like <laughs> when I paranoid? used to do blow, I get paranoid. I do. There's something wrong with the weed now. Yeah. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> probably you. <laughs> something wrong with me now is really the fucking uh, truth of it all. Hmm. But whatever. I used to like smoking weed, bro. I used to like smoking before I played my guitar, smoking before I fucking painted, smoking before I had sex. You just like smoking which anything. Which didn't happen often, so. Smoking pole. <laughs> smoking pole. I smoke pole now whatever, without weed, and so, you know, I'm always in the mood for... Hey, did anybody... <laughs> oh, no, I just... Who did I send that fucking uh, wonderful uh, message, that <laughs> gift to, with the pizza? Pizza guy? I know I got it. With the extra sausage? <laughs> <laughs> Did you order the extra sausage? Maybe I'll post it in chat if I get permission. Yeah. You want me to post it? Robin needs to give permission. Yeah, Robin it, has to it, give it me is permission. X-rated. It's a little it's a little fucking uh risque. Risque. But what see. are you gonna do? I where just, the fuck are we at anyway? I don't I even know. know where we're what at. What I wanted to do, I wanted to mention about Matt Westlake. He played guitar and he also pr helped produce and all that on the helmer album we're gonna play that next week yeah because we have the singer from helmer elvin, elvin rodriguez. rodriguez rodriguez i get rodriguez just thinking about it dude <laughs> i don't think he understands that joke though so no i know there. 
Because <laughs> Uncle Louie calls it that. Yeah, There's no bearings on him. No, 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 none at all. Uncle Louie's fucked up. But I just wanted to, you know. Matt's a great that. producer. I don't care what well, I, Matt. I don't care what the Roach says about you. You're a great producer. <laughs> I love Matt. Matt's a great guy. Matt. Matt Wesley. We're going to have to do some man spread recordings at your house. Yeah. We need to record some drum tracks. My uncle has a band called Man Spread. I think uh, we might be able to get Ferrando to do the drums. No, I don't know. We got to have to ask him. Yeah. Somebody's got to do drum tracks. See either that or we do a drum machine. Ah, fuck the drum machines, man. I know, but I don't want to do drum machine. I want to do real drums for that shit. Yeah, no, we have to. This is like MOD meets Celtic Frost. You know, now you have to call it Celtic. You can't call it Celtic for us like we used to uh, back in the 80s. We called it Celtic. Other people called it Celtic. Yeah, but that's the, a per- well, the pagan. The pagans will get mad at you if you call it Celtic now. <laughs> the pagans, you know, because now it's a big thing now. You know, everybody wants to be trendy and Everyone's witch off- witches and offensive. everything else. Please, nigger, Everyone please. Everyone gets offended. Oh, stop. Offended. Well, everybody gets offended with everything now, so you have to be careful. I'm offended by you saying that. That's right, pal. Jackass. Your mama <laughs> is a very nice lady. <laughs> All right. No, there's some shit we needed to talk about real quick here. Yeah. You want to talk some more? Well, no, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. The man of a thousand words yeah. has nothing to say. And listen, go fuck yourself, pal. <laughs> In the immortal words of my Uncle Louie, go fuck yourself, pal. Go so, so fuck yourself, prick. You guys ready? By the time we come back, we're going to be very, very drunk. So hang around for more laughs. Yes. And let's let's do it, Roach. Yeah, we're going to have the Vince Vatican interview coming up. That's right. Vince Vatican of Vatican, motherfucker. This guy's the been around since... The original Vatican. Dude, this guy's been around for fucking a long fucking time. 83 Right? I think that's what he said. 83, right. 84 or something. Right. 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 Yeah. 83, 84. Something like that. Well, we or had else. a fucking wonderful conversation with an in- inebriated Vince Vatican. Maybe. Which we, maybe, maybe we are was. always inebriated. Maybe so he was. was maybe he wasn't. I he don't know. He was inebriated. He admitted it. Uh-huh. Vince, we love you, brother. We got to throw a few back, pal, next time I see you. Yeah. So we get all the dirt on Vatican. Yes. More dirt. More dirt on Vatican. So... All right, here we go. Here we go. This is Vince Vatican, and you listen to Matt Messiah Radio. This is the Bully and the Road Show. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. We are here at the most coveted moment in the Metal Bully and the Road Show. We are with our special guest of the evening, Mr. Vince Vatican. Of the band Vatican. What's up, Mr. Vince Vatican? Not much, man. Just just chilling out. Just having a couple cocktails as usual. Nice. <laughs> trying, to re- trying to reflect on the day. We should always reflect on the day. I agree. A hundred percent. What's the word? He's reflecting on the day, Roach. Do you reflect on the day? I always reflect on the day. And what was your day like today? <laughs> My, honestly, it was fucking hectic. But was it? Not that bad. Vince, what was your day like today? Um, my day usually starts about five in the morning. Like me. I uh, I get up, fucking have some coffee. I go get my little boy. I go. I drive, you know, to a a different part of the city. I get my little boy up. He lives with his mother. I get him up, throw his ass in the tub. He's seven years old. Huh. Nice. Get him up, feed him breakfast, get him off to school. And then I come home, I push around for a while, and then uh, I do my thing. And my thing is uh, I write music. Meta. I write music. I do music for video games. EA Sports. Really? Whatever, whatever I can do. Nice. Dude, man, I love video games, bro. I fucking play. I was yeah, playing today myself. 
you know, if you, if, if you, if you heard from, um, you know, EA sports, if you've heard, um, you know, uh, uh, some video games out there, the chances are you've probably heard me in my production. No nice, kidding. man. Can you name one? Um, yeah, twi- I did Twisted Metal. Ah, oh, dude, I, I love that fucking game. Twisted Metal. You know, Riffs. Um, what else have I done? I've done shit, bro. I've done everything. Even soap operas, man. Twisted Metal Black was fucking awesome, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good shit. Um, dude, I, I, I want to do something like, like Mortal Kombat, but they got their own, they got their own thing, man. Because I love Mortal Kombat. Me too. Like, me and my son would play Mortal Kombat. It's like, fight. And I always want to be, you know, I want to be Johnny Cage, man. <laughs> Ooh, I like Liu Kang is my man. Oh, yeah, Liu Kang's badass too, man. That bicycle kick, Some bro. Hero, Dude, I, I'm Sub Zero a lot. Sub Zero's hot too. Throws that fucking uh, no. That's not that Sub Zero. That's like who's an oxymoron. The, who's the Sub-Zero's one who throws the hot. fucking hat? Hey, that was an oxymoron. You're right. Who's the one who threw the hat? That's Kano. No, that's not Kano. That's the guy with the cyborg guy. Who the fuck threw the hat? The Chinese looking dude. Who is that guy throwing the fucking Raiden? hat? Raiden? No, not Raiden. Raiden's the guy who fucking shoots the uh, Just, lightning. Sh- yeah, Raid, Raiden's bad. Yeah, he's a badass. He's one of the most powerful ones. Fuck, I can't fucking think of it right now off the top of my head, but I, I will remember. I will. But I love Mortal Kombat. I, 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 I just, the last one I got was that uh, Mortal Kombat XL for uh, PS4. They got fucking Freddy Krueger in there now. They got Jason Voorhees, Leatherface, the Alien, the Predator, all that crazy shit now in Mortal Kombat. It's nuts. Roach likes to play video games, right, Roach? No, not really. I know you don't, you prick. <laughs> you know? Well, I'm, I'm into sports games now. I like, you know, dude, I used to play, uh, you know, a lot of Madden. Oh, okay. But when this, uh, but when, you know, when this, uh, this kneeling shit started, man, dude, I don't even watch football anymore. Yeah, either. fuck that shit, dude. They should get smacked. I don't either. Fuck those guys. I don't even watch football anymore. I have not watched a game this year. And, you know, I think just, I'm, I think I'm better for it. Yeah, I think Roach is better for it too. We all are. Well, bro, you know, everybody, everybody's got their opinion and shit. You know, I'm a very patriotic guy. Here, here. I've been blessed all my life, man. With with you know. Uh, you know, you've been blessed with white privilege. Dude, I, didn't, I, you know, I, didn't, I didn't have to get a fucking job until I was 22 years old, man. I had a, I had a great family. Dude, we were we lived the American dream and shit. And my dad always told me, "Look, man, you know, you got the rest of your life to work, man. So enjoy your youth." Awesome. And um, I, he 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 always said, "Play your ling ling, do your thing." <laughs> Did he, he was cool with you growing your hair because I know you used to have some long ass hair back in the eighties. Oh, well, dude, look, man, I used to play football, man, and when uh when I was a senior in high school, I quit the football team, and um, I was uh, I started both ways, offense and defense. I was a really good football player, both ways, and um, I I played. I was a I was a I was I was a running back. Right, and I was a um, I was an outside linebacker. Roach, and, uh, I, I, I did good in football, man. And, dude, the bottom line was, dude, I, I live in a small city. Isn't that like sacrilegious and, um, over there? Was what sacrilegious? Um, yeah, well, dude, it was like, dude, even I did, when I quit football, man, the football coaches, man, they fucking came down on me. I believe it because that, that's yeah. like a big football yeah. area, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, it's a big football area, man. And, you know, Friday night lights. I, I told, I told, man, I told the, the head coach of our football team. I said that I am, I'm, I'm, I'm going to quit. I'm going to play my music because you know when I was 15 years old, I was playing in the bars. Mm, they didn't like that, huh? And uh, the, the, no, look, you know, my coaches actually came to see me play out in these in these clubs. No shit. That's awesome. Yeah, they did. They, they they were pretty fucking amazed, man. I was just a kid, man. How how was I getting in these clubs? 
Yeah, we did that so once. So they come, yeah. they drink beer, they whoop and holler and shit, and they watch me play. Hooting and hollering, yeah. It was a good time, man. It was a good time. And, and you know, I made the decision, you know, after, and I, I'm probably in August, man, we here, man, we, we start football in in late June. We do like a conditioning and a, a what they call three a days, man. It's like a long practice, man. Yeah, no shit. And, uh, dude, I just told, I told the head coach, I said, I'm going to quit the team, man. I'm going to play my fucking guitar. I'm going to be in this band. And he's like, no, you're not. I'm going to tell your dad. <laughs> no shit. And like, dude, dude, yeah, dude, I started wearing earrings and shit, dude. And yeah, that was back then. Like, uh, they didn't they, like the that. The coach told me, take that shit out, blah, blah, blah. And then I just quit the team. And then one day, I come home after school. And my dad, he worked nights, and uh, he 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 was waiting for me. He's like, oh. "What are you doing here?" It's like, "Oh, <laughs> I'm not I'm not playing football." And he 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 had already gathered up all our music equipment, put it in his bedroom. He says, "If you're not going to play football, you don't get to play music." No. Oh shit. That, that, yeah, dude. And I told him, I go, I told him that's fine. I'm not playing football. So what did you do? Were you able to still jam or no? Dude, my motherfucker, she overrode his bullshit. She <laughs> there you go. Guy. There you go. That show that goes to show who has the real power in the household. Mom. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you I got all my boy. shit back. And, we oh, all yeah, are. Yeah, and, we know, all man, are. I went to school. <laughs> you know, I went to school, man. The fucking coaches, man. They, they started breaking my balls in school. And uh, I mean, to the point where I was in shop, and the shop teacher, who was a, uh, he was a defensive coach. Dude, he he fucking threw me in a fucking urinal. Said you're gonna get your fucking shit on and get out in that fucking field. No shit! Wow, wow. man. Hey, I see. I, I told yeah, you, dude. He they, threw me in the fucking they, urinal, dude. They take that shit seriously over Jesus there. Jesus Christ, and, man! You see, o- over here in Jersey, it's not like that. You know they, they don't take that as serious as they do in like certain parts of the country, especially you know like Ohio, you know even Texas and all that stuff. Right, where football is big, it's like a dude. If you're playing, you're playing, and they and they do it strict. But you would know, yeah, dude. He would know. Strong, Vince <clears throat> Roach plays uh, played football. He pl- he played tight ends. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I spent some fucking time with him here a couple weeks ago, man. I know he's got a tight end, man. <laughs> oh! You throwing me under the bus, Vince. Oh. You throwing me under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> you prick. <laughs> you gotta use some Vaseline on that shit. <laughs> Oh, lube it, killing me, he's lube killing it, me, lube it, lube bullying it. the bully. Look at this guy. I'll tell gotta you. love it. Put gotta love it. On it, man. Just push it in. <laughs> a little spit. <laughs> is, is that why you asked me if you could push in my stool at the bar, Vince? No, dude. I said you ever had your fucking shit pushed in? <laughs> yeah. If we're gonna push in your stool. <laughs> Oh, you're fucking killing me, man. <laughs> fucking this show, I'll tell you. Terrible. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when the joke's not on you, you fucking little Mexican uh, bastard. Half you. the jokes are on me. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to love it. This fucking guy, man. Vince, I'll tell you what. You were very, very impressive at the fucking Hollow Fest, man. Very impressive, well, man. Yo. Dude, I appreciate that, man. But you know, my new band, we had we had rehearsed four times, and then we played that show. Right. You know, I I had worked with the the new singer a couple times, just me and him on on a one on one. Right. And then and then I worked with the other guys, and then we got together. We had four rehearsals. Well, it just sounded good to me, man. Oh, it did, man. Let's do it. It sounded very good, man. Your your uh, your guitar playing was spot it's, on, it's, man. It's a, it's a it's a little bit different, you know. Because you know, there's a lot of people, you know, for for years, man. People have been listening to Vatican, and 
you know, we got a distinct sound and mm-hmm. a distinct vocal, which, you know, I, I, I was, you know, you know, I always like Brian, his vocal. Right. What, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people always said, man, he just got this, this high scratchy sound and why not, you know, and I was like, well, fuck it, I don't give a fuck what people think, the music's what it is and that's what you get. Right. Well, you know, when, you know, so when we played at Hollow Fest, you know, a lot of people that had seen us before, they really didn't know what they were going to see. Yeah, sure. I didn't know either. So it, was, it, it, it was different. It was different. Yeah, it was, man. They, the new guys got a different kind of style, man. Now you're vocalist now. But uh, I'll tell you what, man. I said it, was, it wasn't it was bad, man, at all, man. I mean, his vocals, I mean, it's just a little bit different. That's all. I mean, people, what it is is it's a, it's a when, when you've been together for a few years and people are used to a certain thing, it's a shock to the system when you get something new going. But for me, it was only my second time seeing you live. I saw you in Milwaukee last year, and then I saw you this year. With this lineup, and I mean, it, you know, to me it wasn't that big of a fucking deal because I only heard you with Brain one time. So, for me it wasn't, right. you know what I mean? Right. But I guess to other people from that area, you know, who who, who came up with you and they know, you know, for a, see you a, a while with, with Brain on vocals, you know, they know what it sounds like. For me, it was the first time I had seen you was Milwaukee. So, this time I was like, all right, well, you know, I'm all, I'm all open to this, you know? <laughs> But, um, you know, it was great, man. Your fucking guitar sound was really fucking monstrous, bro, the other night, man. Monstrous. Yeah, but, yeah. dude, man, your guitar sound was monster, dude. Monster. Yeah, that's what, that's what, um, that's what I heard. That my guitar sound was good. But, you know, my, I feel like my, my performance was quite reserved because, you know, there was, there was people there that I had known for years and, had had seen Vatican for years, and I was just kind of wondering, you know, how it was going to be perceived. Well, it didn't seem reserved to me at all, dude. You're fucking going off, dude. For me, anyway, I, yeah, I was you know, really impressed. It, it, it was good, dude. I mean, these guys I'm playing with, they're they're pretty good musicians. So, oh yeah, I feel you know, I feel I feel comfortable with them. Drummer was real good. He was so, doing the high parts. I, I could I heard you. Yeah. He was hitting some of them high notes. You know, it was it was yeah. nice, man. It was fucking good, bro. I liked. I enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Man. I, I, when we played Milwaukee, you know, a week before we played Milwaukee, we had a big we had a big problem in our in in Vatican band that um you know not not many people know that you know. These guys kind of like ganged up on me. Yeah, let's let's get that and, out, man. Uh, let's throw that the fuck out there. What the hell happened? Tell tell us, man. Put it out there, brother. This, this, this is exactly what happened. This is the truth, dude. Is so, that you know, I I myself has I have worked so hard to get to a certain status where without hardly any help from these guys. You know, they they just show up and they play. Right. And uh, they did not like the way that, you know, I was doing I was doing all the interviews. Mm-hmm. I had uh, Vic the Drum. He did a few interviews. Brain didn't do any interviews. He did one interview. And uh, that was the first interview he'd done in, like, years. Right. And, um... Uh, I was such like telling these guys, man, you've got to be involved, man. You know, we're trying to get to the next level here. And um, I was doing these these interviews, and um, then when the record came out, we, the, we I I would get these uh, the emails from these magazines, and they were like the reviews from these from from um, March of the Kings. Mm-hmm. And the reviews were like, they were really praising me as, as far as my, my, my work on the album. Mm-hmm. And, and those guys, you know, I'm saying Brian and, and Vic, they thought that I was getting more accolades than they were. <clears throat> but you deserved them. And, well, it, it, we were a band. Right. And that's, that was the bottom line, man. You know, 
I might work harder than they are, or they did, to get to where we're at, but we're a band, and that's that's what I used to tell those guys. I said, dude, we're a band, man. Well, I went to rehearsal one night, and these guys were like, this isn't the Vince Vatican band. Oh, shit. I said, no, yeah, dude. And I told them, I go, I, well, I, I understand that. And, um, and, and one thing led to another, man, and Brain got really confrontational about it. Now, he had been playing with um, Savior to Anger since, like, November of the, uh, the year before, right. in uh, 2016. And, um, dude, I didn't, I, you know, at first I had a problem with him being another band mm-hmm. because I, I didn't, dude, when, when you seen us, Bobby, when you seen us, man, at that um, Milwaukee show, we had two practices, two rehearsals mm. the whole year. No shit in the year? Because what? He, was, he was all, yeah, dude, we had two rehearsals. The whole since since January. That's crazy. Because he was all wrapped up with that savior to anger. Huh. And um you know, I kept telling him I got a problem with that. We're not rehearsing. I gotta I gotta deliver a new record. I said, dude, I'm under contract. I've got to deliver a new record. We've got to rehearse. And um he put me on the bad burner. Now, now, let me ask you a question, because those couple of those guys are from Italy, right? I mean, what were they doing, rehearsing over here? Did they come to the United States to rehearse with Brain? Or? No, bro. Dude, this was another problem, was that Brian was rehearsing with Bob Mitchell. Right. Um, and a drummer and a bass player, no guitar player. Oh, well, that's weird. How did they do how- they, they were They were rehearsing to a tape. Ah, uh, I got you. He did cut. He cut tracks. I got you. I got you. Okay. Yeah, and um, you know, it, it, and eventually, I got used to the idea, and I said, "Well, that's fine, dude." You know, you know, look, dude. I I told Brian, I said, "Look, dude, you just you just do your thing with Savior to Anger." You know, they had a I don't know. It was like a ten ten show tour. It was going to take. Two and a half months, you know, the, whatever it was. I told him, I said, "You, you do your tour with them. Say your anger when you're done. Get with me. We'll finish this record." Because I had already wrote five or six songs. Now it's March of the said, Kings. Was this was March of the Kings. You recorded. No, this is this is the new record that's coming. That oh, the new, right new, now. the new, new shit. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, and he, he was not interested at all in doing my new record. Wow. He was all up, you know, he was all working with Bob Mitchell and I kept saying, Who is this Bob Mitchell guy? I've never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him hear you say that. <laughs> so, so, you know, when when Brian started playing with that saber to anger, you know, I had be- become friends with that um Mark Ryo from Italy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and um, we started conversing and stuff. And I was telling him that, look, bro, you know the 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 crowds over here in the United States are not like over in Europe, right? And, and so he came over here to the United States for the first time, and he probably shit himself and, because uh, it's I not watching, nothing I like over there. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah! Wow! I started watching some of their videos, man. That Savior to Anger, and they were, they were playing like some restaurants and shit like that. And <laughs> I was like, man, you know, oh, yeah. dude! I was like, I was like, Brian, I was, I was texting Brian, telling him, "Dude, what are you doing, dude? You're playing restaurants." Wow! Yeah, dude, and there was like four people there. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That's almost like our radio show. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like our radio show. We get about four you know, people dude, who I, listen. You know, been, I, I'm, I'm, I'm friends with, with Brian and Vic Grabowski, man, for, for 30 fucking years, dude. These guys are like my family, man. 
and uh, they just one day fucked you over. I seen a bank book that they were playing a show. Man, he was playing a show in Chicago that I had booked for uh, the Festival of Witch. Huh. Oh, I remember and, that, that festival. Right. Yeah, yeah dude, and I, I, I texted him. I said, hey, dude, I said, we got a rehearsal for this show. I thought Brian was still um, playing with that same anger on these dates. And uh, I never got a response from either one of these guys. What? Yeah, and then I called them. I called them. I never got a response. They never called me back. And then next thing I know is they were booking another show for um, Erie, Pennsylvania as Vatican. As Vatican? And what? Said, wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. As Vatican without Vince Vatican? Absolutely. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, and I was like, I'm, I'm texting these guys. and I even called our, our rep from uh, Pure Steel. Uh, Kevin and I said, "Bro, what do you know? What's going on?" He said, "Bro, you need to go over there to Vic's house, man, to talk to those guys." I said, "Okay," and then he called me back up. He goes, "Look, dude, don't go over there and whip their ass." Dude, you send me, you let me <laughs> call me. I'll send my fucking uncle Louie over there. He'll fucking straighten them right out, bro. <laughs> Hey, bro. And I said, dude, uh, dude I'm, I'm not going to go over there. I just want to know what the hell's going on because I got to get prepared. We got to rehearse for these shows. And then about a week before this show in Chicago, Brian texts me and he says, we're going to continue without you. <laughs> Without and I said, what do you mean to do without me? You're not playing my fucking songs, man. Really? And he dude. goes, we're, we're going to continue without you, man. I said, how can this happen? I mean, what, what, what's the deal? And he goes, they only want me. <laughs> I I said, Holy Christ. I, 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 still, I still have the text, man. It's incredible. Brain the I rock said, star, what huh? Do you mean wow. they I said, what do you mean they only want to, man? Wow. He goes, the promoters don't want to work with you. And I said, well. Brain Jovi. I would call, dude, I would call these promoters to find out what the hell the deal is. I said, you've been drinking? Yeah, no doubt. No. Smoking crack? Because you're sounding like the fucking fool of yourself, man. No and shit. That's the truth, dude. That's fucked up, yeah, man. Yeah, dude. And so they played, they played the Chicago show as Vatican. Get the fuck out of here, bro. They did. I, I I had a fan. With who on guitar? Yeah. That guy I saw them with? That Fear fear Garden, whatever? Garden yes. of Fear? Get the yes. Oh, yes, they played God. with him as Vatican. And uh, I had a fan pri uh, uh, private message me on Facebook. And he, he says he had drove all the way from Texas to Chicago to see Vatican. He goes, dude, I paid, I don't know, what is it, 20 bucks to get in? He goes, there were seven people there. Vatican came out. You weren't even in the band. I feel like I got gypped. No, oh, he shit. did get he did get he gypped. Did get gypped, yeah, exactly. He got gypped and he got jacked. And I, I apologized to him jacked. and I I told him I apologized to him and I told him that I had made a post a week before said I was not a you know I, this was not Vatican as you know it. No, because this is what. This is what I was told that they were going to go on. Vic had the drummer had started a um, he he got a a business license called Vatican Vatican um, LLC, and so he felt he felt that he owned the Vatican name. Limited Liability Corporation. That's why he did it that way, so he could try to get over, but he and, can't. He can't. And, and if he gets sued, the company I gets sued, and right. he doesn't get sued. Exactly. That's why he played that game. Yeah. And I told him, I go, 
Well, fuck you. Good luck. <laughs> That's what I told him. Oh, so, so what's wow. On? Shame on you, brain. Shame <laughs> on you. Shame on you all. Oh. Terrible, terrible, terrible thing. Dude, dude, terrible. Dude, 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 me, and, me and Brian, we had children together, man. Our kids are the same age. We, we, our, our kids, I mean, I went to his children's birthday parties. Mm. He come to my, my children's birthday parties. Terrible. We were close. We were real close. That's yeah, that's terrible, how, that dude. sounds fucked that's, up. That would be like me going on and saying, I'm going to keep attack or going without Mike Sabatini, the only original member in the band, and I'm going to go and I'm going to say, this is attacker now. Yeah, that's so fucked up, dude. Ugh. That's disgusting. It, it, it is, because I, I, I told Brian, I go, dude, I'm, 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 the only, I'm the only original Vatican guy there is. That's fucked up. You're Vince Vatican. And he goes, yeah, that's what I'm going to say to do. And so I told him I hadn't talked to the record label. I said, I, because he wanted to be released from the record label. <laughs> he demanded to be released from Pure Steel. Well, you see, the whole thing I with see, that is, what, what, wasn't there a contract in place? Not to be a prick, but after Pure Steel would have heard them, what I heard that night up in, uh, <laughs> at the Hollow Fest, they would have been released anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I, I don't mean to be a prick, but they couldn't hold a candle to you guys, man. They couldn't. Dude, all I know is that when I talked to the president of the record label, he told me, we signed you. We didn't sign Brian. We didn't sign Vic. We signed you. And they told me, you make another record. So, That's it. Okay. All right. All right. So how can they go off and... Play a show under Vatican. Well, they didn't play under Vatican last show. They the when last I was show, no. Hollow they Fest. Probably... No, they played. What was it? Garden of Fear or Fear Garden? What the fuck was it, Vince? One of those. Fear's two. Garden. Fear's uh, Garden. Uh, one of my songs. Oh. One of my songs. Oh, they don't even have the originality to come up with a fucking band name. name. They should have called it. The... Holy Christ! What was it? The Chuckle Garden. <laughs> the Chuckle Patch. <laughs> the Chuckle, Chuckle Patch. Patch. They should have called it from the Magic Garden. Remember. Yeah. The chuckle, the two, the two lesbian uh, girls <laughs> from the seventies. Remember, that was what it was called, right? The Magic Garden. The right? Magic Garden. Magic Garden. Yeah, that's what they should have called it. It's fucking the Magic Carpet Ride, man. Cause I keep looking <laughs> at these fuckers, going, "What are you guys doing? Playing all these Metallica songs?" Yeah, they played like <laughs> three Metallica band. songs. You're they did. Band. They did. Dude, they they played, played like three Metallica songs. songs. Terrible. Oh God. We were. I was banging my head against the fucking wall in the bathroom. I had to go in the bathroom and bang my head against the sink. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to fucking hear Metallica. I didn't come here to hear Metallica. Wow. That's why Legion played a Maiden song just to get the taste of the Metallica out of my mouth. Or the taste of cock. Yeah. When I rolled into that venue, I parked right behind Brian. Yeah, you pulled up one. Well, yeah, I, mean, I, I saw him pull up first, and I didn't even know he wasn't in Vatican anymore because I had seen Brad yeah, Toft, and Brad had said to me, Brad was like, hey, he's like, hey, Bobby. And I turned around, and I thought it was Brain had said, hey, what's up, Bobby? And I was like, hey, Brain. And Brain didn't say nothing. And then I saw Brad, and Brad, I was like, oh, Brad, holy shit, I didn't even know Brad was going to be there. And then uh, Brain didn't say two fucking words to me. He was being a real fucking, uh, I don't know, I ain't going to say. Dick? You yep, said I didn't man. say. It. Is a rock star, man. Yeah, he's brain. He's brain Jovi now. Yeah, I see. I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's it's fucked up, you know. Because I was telling my girlfriend here before the hollow pass, I said, you know, I really didn't think it would go this far. I figured those guys would have a fucking pitch of bitch, say what they gotta say. Not talk to me for a while, and then we'd get back together and continue. But no, right? Unbelievable. But no, dude, they don't even communicate with me and shit. And so I, you know, what, dude, what, I, I need no dude. So what are you like? Are you like, are you like the Dave Mustaine of Vatican? <laughs> Why are you the dude, look, man. <laughs> are you dude, like the actual Rose? <laughs> they've seen my, they've seen my highs, they've seen my lows. Uh, 
They've seen me. They've seen me in bad situations. They know every time I I got arrested, dude. And I'm telling you, I've been arrested a lot. <laughs> That's great. Totally pumped up. D I was getting an attorney and beat that shit, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and, and and these guys, you know, they worried about me for a long time, man, because. You know, dude, I, I really live on the fucking edge, dude. That's it, man. You know, and, 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 and you know, when you, you know, at some point, man, the fucking Brian even fucking pulled me aside one night and told me, he goes, look, dude, keeping that bad boy image, man, it's costing you a lot of fucking money. Now stop it. Yeah. It, it does. Did you heed his warning? No. <laughs> Dude, here it is. Uh, you know, it says 12, 30, 40, 15 months. I ain't been arrested. So there you go. So you're doing go. something right. You're doing something right, Vince. That's it. You're doing something you know, right. And, 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 you know, these, these, these guys, man, who are my friends, who are my family, man, they just up and fucking bailed on me. Yeah, that's not right. You know, I feel, you know, and dude, I, I feel right now like I got abandonment issues, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I, I can understand that, man. How long did you play with Brain for? Dude, I I played with Brain since I was twenty two years old. Nice. And, uh, so you're playing with the guy over twenty yeah, dude, over and, twenty and, years and, at least, man. Over twenty. Oh years. yeah, over twenty years, dude. Nice. And you know, I mean, dude, when he get drunk, he stay at my fucking house. Mm. Yeah, I take care cool. of his ass, man, and and I love this guy. Yeah, that's well, you know, up, man. So what, dude, he started playing with that Bob Mitchell. And I kept fucking telling Brian, "Are you drinking his Kool Aid?" Yeah. <laughs> or sucking something his else. Kool -Aid. You know, yeah. and, you know. I've never met Bob Mitchell. Mm, well, he you works know, for Pure Steel he's now, don't he? For, don't he? He's working for Pure Steel. You no, know, he's saying for for attacker, and he's saying for yeah. that out and sleep at Hollow Band. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing I know, man. Yeah. And I, you know, he sounded all right, but I said, dude, you're drinking this Kool-Aid, dude. We, we got a good thing going here. So, so and he's not with them anymore. What the fuck happened over there with them? Because he's not with them no more. Dude, they, they got a new band, I guess. Um, they got a new band called Night Hunter. I never heard such a generic fucking name in my life, but. So there's yeah, no more I'm savior, no more savior. I'm bagging on him, man, because, well, you know, Sean Nestor's playing guitar. The um, guitar player from um, Homicide Black is playing guitar with those guys. He's a good guitar player. So what, is no more uh, savior from anger no more either? No, nope, there's no more. Not that I know of. There might be one in Europe, but there's not one in America. Wow. So... So what are your plans with Vatican now? Well, I put this guy, this band together, and we're rehearsing. Now next next uh, next Sunday, we're going to be doing the new material. We're probably going to work on that for probably a month, and we're going to go into the studio and start recording. Within the cool. next month or so. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. So it's not, that's basically that's basically the fucking dirt on Vatican, man. It's like you know, dude, by by far I'm not saying I'm an angel. <laughs> None of us are. You know, I'm I am i am i am I'm I'm, I'm a hard person to work with. Good name, man. All right, so thank you guys for having me on tonight. Hey, thank you, no my problem. friend. Thank I appreciate that. I appreciate you having guys you. got the Vatican dirt? Yeah. We do, and, man. Um, we got the dirt, brother. It is what it is. And r listen, Vince. Vince, man, when you get something recorded from the new stuff, we want to be the premiere. You s give it to us first, and we will premiere your new track. How's that sound? I will I, I, I will do that for you guys, man, because I like you guys. Good. I appreciate it, man. We and like we, li too, and we man. like you. Definitely, brother. Definitely. Dude, I, I will make that happen. Let's do it. it. Sounds awesome. And we'll fucking push the fuck out of it for you. We'll promote it. All right? I appreciate that. All right, man. All right, Vince. Thanks a lot, man. God bless you. 
Have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Good time, man. Good time as usual. You guys take care. I love you guys. Not not literally, but I love you guys. And <laughs> you guys take care. All right, brother. God, God bless you. Love you too, man. No homo. No homo. No homos. No homos. No homos. <laughs> <laughs> just Bobby. Just me. Yeah, just me. He had to th- blow me and throw me under the bus again. This fucking prick. All right, Vince. Yeah. <laughs> All right, take care. Have a good night, brother, man. Thank you. All right, bye. Good night. You too. All right, bye. There you go, Vince Vatican of the one and only Vatican on yes. Metal Messiah Radio. Metal Boy and the Roach. And the Roach. And the Cucaracha. Roach. What's up? Did you catch a scent of the brown breeze? The brown breeze. <laughs> I did. Oh, oh, yes. I think it was from one of your cats, though. Yeah, it wasn't from me. You would have heard it <laughs> if it was from me. I would have been blown away. Wait. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, Whoops, God. that slipped. Oh, slipped. <sighs> oh, you got, you got those loose cheeks. Yeah, cheek flapper. <laughs> <laughs> what a great interview that was, huh, guys? Yeah, Vince Vatican. Vince laying Vatican. It. He laid it all out on the fucking laid, table. Laid it all out there. No holds bar. Just said the way it was. Yeah, man. He fucking laid that shit right the fuck out. I love it. That's what we should have everybody do. Yep. Lay it on the table. Give us the <laughs> dirt. We want the dirt. You want the dirt? The we'll dirt. get you the dirt. We want the dirt. You know what I'm saying? You come to Metal Bully and the Roach Show, and, and you get the dirt. Dig up the dirt, yo. All them skeletons, they come running out that closet. Mm, them Jersey niggas, yo. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so listen, I want to talk a little bit about, this is this is the part of the show I think we should do a little plugging. Roach. Yeah, Teddy, what do you think? Teddy, don't be leaving yet. Teddy? Yeah. Don't go nowhere, Teddy. Okay, pal? Yeah, listen up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck you guys, I'm out. Anyway, I want to talk about my friend Uncle Frank from Metal Noise. My friend Uncle Frank does management, consulting, books, <laughs> bookings. This is fucking Roach's fault. Bookings. Why is it always my fault? Because I said so. Because Pictures, videos, promotions. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm drunk. I'm not drunk. Yes, you are. I'm not close yes, to drunk. You I'm waiting talk. for. I'm waiting for you that. You can't talk. Listen. You can't talk. I'm waiting for that prick, talk. Bo McNutt. <laughs> Bo McNutt to come with the fucking apple pie, crisp, fucking faggy ass moonshine <laughs> that <laughs> creeps up on you. Ooh. Oh, you call him that faggy, but yet you have uh, air spray called Cozy Autumn <laughs> Cuddle. <laughs> Cozy Autumn Cuddle because- by Glade. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> because I need that for the brown breeze, bro. <laughs> <laughs> It's Dutch oven proof. <laughs> <laughs> it says fights Dutch ovens <laughs> at their fiercest, the fiercest Dutch ovens. <laughs> oh my oh. God! Anyway, so Uncle Frank, Metal Noise, does management Is consulting. Last name, last name Summers. Yes. Okay. Just making sure it's the same Uncle one. Frank Summers. Absolutely. Bookings, pictures, videos, promotions, anything you need. I would I would suggest it's Summers S O M M E R S. He does have a Metal Noise website as well. It's not on summer Facebook. like Summer's Eve. No, it's not Summer's Eve or Massingill, you fucking douchebag. <laughs> Wash your pussy. <laughs> Whoa! Bitch, bitch, kill that funky smell. Hey, I join you want to keep the beginning nice and fresh. <laughs> Uncle Louie, what the fuck you doing here, bro? Get the fuck out of here. Now you go fuck yourself, pal. You're not supposed to be here yet. Go get his fucking tomato pie. <laughs> hey, go fuck yourself, pal. Yeah, okay. Anyway. So, yes. Um, This is You're talking about Uncle Frank. Well, Uncle Frank, come on, finish Uncle Frank. We did, Uncle Frank. You, you dumb, they dumb. We're done with Uncle Frank. Yes. You sure? 
Yes, Facebook, Frank Summers, S-O-M-M-E-R-S, Metal Noise. Used to be Metal Noise TV, but now it's just Metal Noise, N-O-I-Z-E, on Facebook. Check him out. Awesome stuff. And on to the lovely Jet, the Jet. Metal Magdalene. Yes. Tuesdays and Thursdays on this very station, Metal Messiah Radio. Hmm. <laughs> What time? I, I know she was on today from 2 to 5. What? Wait. 2 to 3, 2 to 4. 5, right? 2 to 5 or 2 to 4? No, I think she was on 2 to 4. Jen, I'm sorry. I'm a little inebriated thanks to the Roach. It's all your fault. Roach, you're supposed to know my, these it, things. It's always my fault. You're supposed to know these things. And Tuesday she's on too. Tuesdays and Thursdays. In the evening. Tuesdays mm-hmm. in the evening. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, you see, what you got to do is just go Jet on said, her page. Two to four. Two to four. Two to four. Thursdays. Thank you, Jet. She's got like 5,000 fucking followers, and they're all men. So go figure. <laughs> go figure. And nine to 11 on Tuesdays. I'm actually thinking, I think she's on to something. What? I think, I'm thinking of wearing like Daisy Dukes and like hanging brain for my photo <laughs> for the metal, bro- <laughs> metal Bully Show. What do you think? If I hang brain? She doesn't. She doesn't. You guys think I'll get more listeners? <laughs> but she she doesn't wear Dizzy Dukes. No, but she she's you know, a lady. Yeah, but she's got other things going on. What do you mean? Beauty, beauty. Oh yeah, she's beautiful. Oh, listen to the roach. Oh, she's listen to the roach. She's a beautiful woman. I'm not, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna deny that. Oh snap. Damn, cuz. What's up with that, yo? Nothing's up with that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the very lovely, ro- uh, very lovely roach. <laughs> you know what's on his mind. <laughs> roach, the very lovely roach. From Metal Boy and the Roach. Just don't hang any brain in front of me, roach, please. Okay. Tough guy? No, I won't. I won't do that. But anyway, the very lovely and talented Jet, the Metal Magdalene, Tuesdays and Thursdays on Metal Messiah Radio. Play some great music. Just remember, Tuesdays, 9 to 11, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern. Go ahead, fanboy. And Thursday, 2 to 4 (laughs) p.m. Eastern time. Spoken like a true stalker. (laughs) Hey, she gave me the info. I'm just relaying the information. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Kill me now, please. Yes, yes, Somebody. Jet. He does hate it. I love it, Jet. <laughs> I love it. I love competition, especially when there's none. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's got like fucking 5,000 male followers in love with her. And she it's does a great good. job. It's all good. She does a great job of what she does. It's all good in the hood. You think so? I know so. Not in this hood. But the <laughs> but the bully, the bully has the fiercest brown breeze. <laughs> <laughs> I could attest to that. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking show, I'll tell you. Why does anybody listen? Because we're jackasses. People like to listen to jackasses. Oh, God. My stomach actually hurts from laughing before. I don't even remember what I was laughing at. You're laughing at with the... Uh, stupidity. Yeah, yeah stupidity. <laughs> it's got to be. Part of the interview, part of the chat. Oh, my God. Anyway, you guys are crazy in the chat, by the way. All of you. We love you. We love you all. I'm overwhelmed with loving emotions for you. Hmm. And where's FJ? Is FJ back? I think he's taking a nap. <laughs> FJ, are you taking a nap? Yeah, there he's in. Or are you back with the Nunzios? Where's, Where's my fucking Nunzios? Where's Firm? I'm waiting for a knock at the door and see Furman with a fucking big old big tomato pie from Nunzios. <laughs> that ain't happening. Come on, Firm. Whoa, whoa. Oh, he left. We invited you to Shea Bully a long time ago, pal, for the fucking recording of the show. From the get go. From the giddy up. From the giddy up. <clears throat> anyway, so the next thing I want to talk about, you know, we had the Halloween show and we had a lot of crazy shit happening because we had uh, Roach's buddy here, Anton LaVey's illegitimate son, Stephen LaVey. 
We had crazy stuff going on. We had uh, computers oh. fouling up. We oh, had... look at it. FT just put, he's like, LOL, I'm here. I just drove by <laughs> with some Popeyes. Yeah, you prick. Oh, it's hey, Where's Popeyes. my Popeyes at, you prick? I'll pop your eye. Don't fucking, <laughs> don't fucking uh, tease a fat guy with Popeyes. I'm the Satan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, your buddy, the fucking Satan. <laughs> So we had a bunch of shit going on with the uh, with the uh, Sam player on Halloween because his his buddy the fucking Satan was here. Songs wouldn't play, songs wouldn't show up, lights were flickering, the fucking computer was going blue, and I'm not even kidding. This was really going on. So anyway, right, right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so uh, well, I was supposed to play my buddy Dante Tomaselli. I was supposed to play some of his music, and it wouldn't show up in the uh, Sam player. Uh, Dante is a very, extremely fucking talented New Jersey horror film director who's done movies such as the film Horror, mm-hmm. Satan's Playground, and Torture Chamber. I suggest you check them out. If you like the old school, like Fulci and... Uh, 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 Argento, uh, mixed with a little uh, Romero and and some psychedelia, then you need to check out Dante Tomaselli's films. He's also a very very skilled composer, and he composes all the music, the soundtracks for his films. Um, I would play some of it tonight, but it'll scare the shit out of you. So scary stuff. Yeah, we might have to play some next time. Ooh. Next time Levee, next, next time Leve is here in studio. We'll play some in the background, and we'll shut the lights out, and we'll see how fast Roach grabs onto my leg. <laughs> <laughs> my third leg. Oh, I'd have to jump up for that. Both, in, both inches. <laughs> I'd have to jump up <laughs> for that. for both inches. <laughs> oh, God, help me. But, uh, yes, Dante has a new film in the works called The Doll, and it will be filmed in Salem, Massachusetts, on location. And none other than the Metal Bully, a.k.a. Bobby Lucas, will have a song in that film. Yay! Yes, I will. Absolutely. Working with a very talented New Jersey horror film director. So uh, a little bit of my from, music will be getting he in. Was, yes, here he is. He is. He's from, boy. Uh, no, Dante's from uh, South Jersey. South Jersey? Yeah. But he lived here, though, right? I don't think so. No, no, no. no? He's from, uh, dude, he's like right from the Pine Barrens area, dude. Um, Yeah. All his uh-huh. life lived in Jersey. Went to Catholic school, was beaten up by the nuns, just like me. We have a lot in common, Dante Supposedly and I. Supposedly Jet, too, according to Robin. Did you, Jet? Did you get beat up by the nuns like me? That's what Robin oh, says. Oh, we need to talk. Oh, boy. That's what made, made her so angelic right now. Is that what did it? Chet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Anyway, so, yeah, I got a show coming up this weekend uh, with Attacker at Ralph's Rock Diner in Worcester. In Worcester. Worcester, like Worcester. In Worcester, like Worcester. Massachusetts. Ralph's Rock Diner this Saturday with Attacker. Here comes the Worcester. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then Denim and Leather. Coming up on the 17th, mm. the uh, Vegas Massacre Benefit, right? So uh, the funds that we're raising is going to go help the survivors and victims of that Vegas shooting. So come on down to Hot Shots in Westville, New Jersey. That's Hot Shots in Westville, New Jersey. My new wave of British heavy metal and 80s classic metal tribute band. What's the name? Denim and And leather. Leather. You'll never hear another set list like that. No, these guys are good. Let me tell you. Uh, Thank you, Roach. You're all right, I got to pat you back sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Instead of patting your head. Anyway, (laughs) my Uncle uh, Louis, you know, my Uncle Louis got something that he wants me to play for you guys. I I mean... uh, do we really have to do this, Roach? Um, no, we can scratch it. No, let's do it. Yeah, if I do it, then that prick ain't gonna leave me alone, dude. Let's just just play it. He promised us a tomato pie, so uh, hopefully he'll it. come through with that. Yeah, we'll see. I won't. I won't fucking hold my breath. He doesn't ever want to go into his pockets for tomato pie. 
Well, he I'll always wants you. everybody to buy it for him. I'll tell you what, though. He did a good job with this. Uh, well, let's play it and find out. Mm-hmm. Metal Bully and the Roach, Metal Messiah Radio, Uncle Louis Simone. Hey, what's going on out there, folks, in the uh, Metal Bully and the Roach uh, community there? Uh, yeah, Uncle Louis here. And uh, I just wanted uh, to come on here and talk a little bit about what's going on uh, with me and Wahida. Because I get lots of uh, private messages in, on uh, the Facebook. And they ask me, uh, I, how long have you and Wahida been together? And how did you guys meet? And, uh, you know, romantically type stuff like that, you know. And uh, I figured, hey, the best way for me to kill two birds at one bullet, I mean stone, would be to write a little song about it. So uh, I know how you love the way that I sing. And you get into my music. And uh, this is going to be specially for you guys. So enjoy it. Here we go. Here on Raritan Bay And they serve a couple hundred drunks a day Me and my homies pass the time away And talk about our hoes And then I saw her with them sweet brown eyes And gigantic tits and those thunder thighs So I asked her, would she go with me Out for tomato pie I said, Wahida, you're so fine, girl Love your big ass, don't you see? Your ass, won't you let me squeeze it so gently? Well, Wahida comes from Perth and Boy And she's always surrounded by the meanest boys Those drug dealers try to give her crack Or maybe a sniff of blow Last December, they took her man away Cause they caught him selling half a kilo a day I was so happy, now I could ask her to be Mrs. Louis Simone Wahida, you're so fine girl Love that big ass, don't you see? That ass, would you let me squeeze it so gently? Wahida told me to watch my step And to keep my hands to myself, please Told me if I wanted to hit that ass Get some Mad Dog 50-50 So I hit the liquor store so fast Boy, I really ran Now Wahida's my fat bitch And I'm her man It's official, we did the dirty deed I really didn't know just how much cock she'd need I felt so lucky as I walked out her door Just wish I had a few inches more And I said, Wahida, you're so fine, girl Love your big ass, don't you see? And that ass, won't you let me squeeze it so gently? You're so fine, girl Love your big ass, don't you see? Hey, that ass, won't you let me squeeze it? Hey, baby Louis Simone, I will suck your motherfucking dick You're so fine, girl Really fine, girl Damn right, Louis Give me that big ass, Wahida Hey, how are you doing there, sweetie? Great, and you? Hey, I'm doing better now that I, that I got you on the phone. Uh, I'm ready to eat some uh, authentic Italian food. Okay, give me one second. Yeah. Thank you for calling 
you for holding. How can I help you? Yes, I. How are you, sweetheart? I'm good. How are you? Hey, I'm doing real good. I, I just want a shit ton of money over here. Yeah. I'm sorry? I says, I'm doing good. I want a shit ton of money over here. That's good. Yeah, you, you goddamn right. That's it. And I'm ready to I'm ready to come in there and get my eat on. Yeah, that's fine. You could just come right in. I want to get uh, reservations, though. You want to make reservations? I guess. Am I gonna, do I need them? No, you could just come in as a walk-in. I could, even if I got half my, uh, more than half my crazy family with me. Yep. And they got a wife that's about 350 pounds, too. I'm sorry? I says, I also got a wife that's about 350 pounds. Oh, yeah, that's fine. She's a big fat fuck. Okay, you she, can just come in. Hey, uh, she likes tartufo. You got tartufo? Yes. Now, what kind of wine list you got over there? I'm sorry? Wine list. What kind of wine list you got there? We have... Um, we have white wine, red wine. Uh, I should hope so. Yeah, we have different kinds. Yeah. Hey, really what's, your, what's your name? Daniela. Daniela. Oh, you you a paisan too? I'm sorry? Are you Italian? I'm not, actually. Daniela. It sounds Italiano. No, I'm not Italian. Not, oh, you still sound beautiful, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you. You do. You say you get my pockets tight over here. <laughs> yeah. My name's Louie. Oh, well, I can't wait to see you, Louie. Louie Simone. Hey, uh, hey, man, I be your Uncle Louie. Everybody calls me Uncle Louie. Even if they don't know me, they could call me Uncle Louie. <laughs> okay, I'll be sure to call you Uncle Louie, then. You do that, sweetheart. I'll tell you what, you get a nice tip from me. <laughs> Boat inches. <laughs> you, are you married? No, I'm not married. You're not married. Do you like no, I'm not. Do you like older men? Do I like older men? Yeah. <laughs> I would consider it. You would? Hey, I want a shit ton of money tonight, sweetheart. Oh, you do? I'll leave this fat bitch home with me. I'll just come take you out. Yeah, why not? That uh, works for me. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'm a high, what they call a high roller. Uh-huh. And uh, and I'm a little high too right now. So yeah, I'm a high high roller. He's a high high roller. High high roller, cause I'm you know what I mean. Yeah. I I I don't usually smoke that shit, but my nephew, my half of my nephew's a half a fag anyway, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But I don't care. I don't judge. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, he wants to smoke the salami. I don't give a shit. Right, right. As long <laughs> right. as that shit he's got is good, I take a couple pokes of that puffs. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'm fine. Yeah, as, long, as long as you're having fun, hey, you know? hey, I'm ready to have more fun. Exactly. I'm gonna tell him that uh, I got something else to do, and uh, I'm a, I'm gonna come visit you, Daniela. Okay. See you then. All right, my love. Bye. Uncle Louis, see you soon. Smell it, all right, honey. Bye. What? <laughs> you it smells like burnt matches or something. Oh yeah, what is that? Like sulfur. What? Oh no. no. Could it be? I think so. I don't know. Ah, it's smelling pretty strong right now. Yeah, it is. Oh boy. Oh now shit! No. That's why. It's him. He's with us once again. Oh my gosh. The one and only Stephen LeVay. Illegitimate son of Anton LeVay. Founder of the Church of Satan. <laughs> Oh, 
Holy crap. Are you with us there, Stephen? Yeah, I'm with you there, boys. How you doing tonight? Uh, good. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're All ready. Right, you drinking? Oh, of course. Always. All right. The bully show is happening. The alcoholic beverages are flowing. <laughs> And the sulfur is burning because we have you with us. Stephen LeVay, we missed you last week, Steve. Yeah, yeah, I missed you guys, too. You know? I had a little business to attend to, but I'm back. Stealing souls? How you guys been? <laughs> uh, just a few. <laughs> well, we're better now. <laughs> Got some catching up to do, my yeah. friend. Yeah, man. Yeah, how you guys doing? Yeah, we're waiting for you to come back and be an in-studio guest again. We yeah, that was, that was oh, awesome man, time. That. that was awesome time. And Thank we, you for gotta, showing up. We enjoy that. Oh, man, my pleasure. I got to come back. We got to do it again. Yes, when you're coming back to Jersey, you let us know, and uh, we'll do it soon, whenever you want, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think there's somebody <laughs> fighting outside. Uh, yeah, some Perth- yeah, yeah, some, yeah, what's going on, oh, brother? You hear that? Some Perth Amboy action. Yeah, there was a little on. fucking retard running by. I was going to kick him in the fucking shin. Is, oh, that, was, <laughs> is that yours? All kinds of noises. That was your phone? That was in your end? Oh, <laughs> I thought it was having some action outside my window of my apartment here. I was ready to... <laughs> I think it's coming from outside here by us. Is it? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. There's a fight going on. Yeah. I don't know. Dude, somebody's banging on somebody's door or something out there. I don't know. We might have to call the Popo. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Anyway, wonderful Perth Amboy. All right, Mr. LeVay, what do you got for us today? Anything good? Yeah, I got a couple. I got a couple, I guess. Hit it. Kick it, nigga. Kick it, oh. bro. All right. So here goes the first one. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. Oh, we're ready. More than ready. Maybe oh, not, okay. but... <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Why do lesbians shop at Models? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I can think of a thousand yeah, reasons. Why, why, do they, why do lesbians shop at Models? Why is that, Steve? Because they don't like dicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, dude. <laughs> I like that. That's fucking excellent. That was good. Man. That was I really like that. good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. All right. That was good. I like that. Hit us with another one. Hit us with another one. Man, usually he's like, oh, I can't condone this. That one he likes. I like that one. I like that. <laughs> that one's bully approved. That's bully approved for sure. <laughs> All right. So you got a, a mom. You know what that is, right? That's the, uh, I guess you would say the Muslim priest, right? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you got a rabbi. We all know what a rabbi is. Oh, no. And you got a. And you, no, no. <laughs> And you got, <laughs> and you got a Catholic priest. <laughs> that are on, they're on one of these big cruise ships, right? And the cruise ship starts taking on water, and the thing's going down fast, and it's sinking. Right, right. So the, so the imam says, "Praise be to Allah. Let's save all the children." <laughs> oh, no, I and the rabbi see where says, going, no. "The rabbi says." Save the children. Oy vey. Fuck the children. And the priest says, do you think we have time? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you're going to hell. You're you're going to hell with your father. Your old man's down here waiting for you. He's shaking his head. He's looking. He's going, I'm waiting for my son. He's coming down. Oh, oh yeah. do we have time? Do we have time? <laughs> oh my god! Oh dear God! Terrible, terrible, <laughs> terrible! <laughs> Save the children! Fuck the children! Do we have time? <laughs> I can see it, man. It's unfolding before my eyes. Oh my god! Terrible. 
<laughs> you see it's he's saying it with a gleam in his eye. Oh my god, that shit's funny, man. That's <laughs> you think we have time? Funny, <laughs> man. Mm. <laughs> All right, we know you got to we got to get a third one out of you. Three's the charm. Three is the charm. I saved the best for last. Good. You usually do. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Ready. All right. What's the difference between kids with cancer and jokes about kids with cancer? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What's the difference? Eventually, the jokes get old. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> Oh, dear God. I cannot <laughs> condone that one. The bully does not condone that one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, some things are sacred there, Stephen. <laughs> eh, not really. <laughs> they are sharpening up your pitchfork down there as we uh, listen to this. That's here. <laughs> Terrible, terrible. Well, Stephen, we appreciate your time, my friend. As, As usual. And, uh, yeah, man, we will talk to you again next week. And the sooner you can yeah. get down here again to Jersey and you come visit, we'll have you back on the show. Next time? Oh, yeah. Next time I'm there, I'm coming, boys. Absolutely. All right, man. Excellent, brother. All right. You have a good one, man. Me too. Bully and the Roach is always a pleasure. I'll All talk right, to you guys brother. Soon. Later, brother, man. Thank you, man. All right. Be good. Oh, That's there. Please, you've got to tell the company to give us other work. And we're no struggle. That was some kind of, like, satanic foreign uh, voices on that. Was like that. Did EVP, you hear that? That was like an EVP, right? That was like an EVP? That was something supernatural. It wasn't for real. I heard that. <laughs> you heard it, right? No, they heard it. It's like it. a totally different voice came through. It was. Every time. Every time that we have him on the show. Something freaky happens. Something happens. We had, like, I guess, were the people fighting? Yeah, they were fighting out there. Were people were getting here? violent. That was out my window. Was that your window? Yes. Was that his? Cause, no. Cause he mentioned something about someone. He someone's, had some shit by. going on, too. Something about this. Something about this LeBay guy, yeah. I agree, Roach. Yeah. Something's going on. Something about the LeBay guy. Just not kosher. <laughs> <laughs> Save the children. <laughs> Fuck the children. Do we, we have time? <laughs> oh, that's fucking classic. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that could be a good prank phone call. We could, like, call uh, directory. Mm hmm. And uh, since that lady liked Uncle Louie so much, we could have him tell her that joke. Maybe. <laughs> See what the fuck. She'd be oh, like, oh. She'd fucking flip. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. Go to hell for that. No, she seemed like the kind, you know, very faithful, very forgiving, very understanding. And she would listen to it and be like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. All I know is that for some reason, women like Uncle Louie. I don't know what it is. He's got more game than I do. Oh, well, Uncle Louie's Uncle Louie, man. He does have game. You know? He's like a pimp. He's the pimp daddy. An Italian, old Italian, fat, fat pimp. <laughs> fat pimp daddy. Him Tomato he, pie eating pimp. Yeah, on, well, with the sauce all over his fucking tracksuit. Oh, uh, yeah. And speaking of tomato pie, oh. we had some delicious Scorantinos tonight. Yes, yes we did. A delicious Scorantinos brick oven pizza. With what on it? Sausage. <laughs> Extra sausage. A couple of my friends got a nice uh, <laughs> a nice little video in their uh, messenger today. Oh. <laughs> Did you with see the, that one? Yeah. With the pizza with, box? That was some sausage in there. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that's what you call... <laughs> hey, that was what you call a tomato pie with extra sausage. <laughs> Maybe a little too much extra. <laughs> yeah. A little extra more than she ordered, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, oh, you got to love it. But Scortino's, we got two locations, Perth Amboy and South Amboy. You got Scortino's Harbor Lights in South Amboy, New Jersey, and you have my uh, one right down the street from me, and that's just Scortino's, and that is uh, 
the little takeout place. No, you could actually. There's a couple uh, little tables in there you could sit and eat too. Yeah. But um, the other one is more like a restaurant, the Harbor Lights in South Amboy. Like the you know. bar too. Yeah, they have a bar, and you know that one's more like the restaurant. If you want to go and bring your family and eat, and they have takeout too there. Yes, you can take out over there too, but that's more like I said. It's got the bar if you want to have a few, like Roach and I do. <laughs> um, then you go to the one in South Amboy. But over here, it's a you know, nice little cozy mom and pop uh, atmosphere. But the best pie in Jersey, bar none, Scortino's. Family owned and operated for almost fucking 90 years here yeah. in Perth Amboy. So get yourself some tomato pie. Dane McClintic. <laughs> My uncle says he wants to meet you at Scortino's for a pie. What kind of pie? Tomato pie. Oh. With sausage. <laughs> With sausage. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with your computer. Do not attempt to log off. Metal Bully and the Roach are controlling your internet. Did you hear that sound? Did you see that orb? Did you feel the touch of a cold, dead hand? What was that? Dogman? Bigfoot, perhaps? Was it bullshit? Or was it real? Together we'll find out. Because there's a lot of shit going on. Welcome to tonight's episode of Paranormal Craptivity with your hosts, Metal Bully and The Roach. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Do you think they're ready for tonight's episode of Paranormal Craptivity? I'm sure they are. Are you guys ready? I'm, I know for a fact that they're waiting. Oh, shit. Willing well, and waiting. We're going to take you to Scotland tonight. Scotland? Scotland. What are we going there for? The one and only. What, kilts? No. The Loch Ness Monster. Oh, the Loch Ness. Oh, yeah. Nessie. Good old Nessie. The inimitable. Inimitable. <laughs> inimitable. Nessie. Inimitable. Try saying that fucking three times fast, pal. Inimitable, inimitable, inimitable. I got a good tongue quick. <laughs> I got a good tongue twister for everybody out there. Yeah, my cock. No, your cock's <laughs> too fucking small. You can twist Smaller your tongue. Around. Well, your tongue's not big enough anyway. But really, I want you all to try this. If you promise me I'll say it if you'll try it at home. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you guys ready? I want you to try this tongue twister. <laughs> All right. I, I don't even right, know. Right, right. I don't even know what he's going to say. Especially, so. especially Dane McClintic, Bo McDee's nuts, McDee's nuts, McDee's nuts, <laughs> and Jet. Oh God! And Robin, you too, because I'm going to ax you. <laughs> I'm going to ax you. What later. about Jeff Baker? Jeff Baker ain't fucking here. Oh, no, he just joined. Oh, Jesus Christ. What, the last fucking half hour? What time is it? Dude, trust me. Don't worry about the time. Yeah, we're, already fuck going, yourself, we're already going over. Yeah, we are going to be going over tonight, people. So don't worry. It's okay. So listen, are you guys ready? Try this tongue twister at home. <laughs> <laughs> One smart fella. He felt smart. Two smart fellas. They felt smart. Three smart fellas. They all felt smart. Try it. No, don't don't lie to me and say you're trying it and you're not. One smart fella, he felt smart. Two smart fellas, they felt smart. Three smart fellas, they all felt smart. And I'm drunk and I can do that. Go ahead, Roach. Come on. I can't do that. Roach. I can't even do that sober. Well, try it for me, for your boss. Come on. What was it again? One smart fella, right, he felt some, smart. Two one smart, smart fella, he felt smart. Two smart fellas. They two smart, smart fellas. You got to say they, it fast. You can't, uh, I can't do it fast. One smart fella. I can't do it fast. He felt smart. A tongue twister is you got to say it fast. Right, and I cannot do that. One smart fella. He felt smart. Two smart fellas. They felt smart. Three smart fellas. They all felt smart. Come on. 
I can't do it. Oh, well, then what the fuck? I, what the fuck was? Try I, it, at least. I, I already told you I couldn't well, do it. Just try it. I don't want to hear you can't. Don't be a quitter. <laughs> I'm not a quitter. Don't be a quitter. Uh, how can I be a quitter if I don't even do it? You did it. You did it. You did it slow. <laughs> you did it. You did it slow like no, molasses. No, I said if I don't even do it, how, right, can, go I, fuck how yourself, can I quit? Pal. You're no fucking fun. Anyway, back to Loch Ness. <laughs> right. 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 So anyway, we're at Loch Ness. So there's this couple. They're newlyweds on their fucking honeymoon. And what do they see? But fucking Nessie. Who? Nessie. Who be that? And, and here's the crazy thing. There were seven other sightings besides these folks. As Alex, we call them. Well, you know, folks. <laughs> Mr. AJ. We know Loch Ness Monster's real. <laughs> we know he comes in and out of interdimensional uh, portals. You know, the Illuminati like to try to tell you that uh, it doesn't exist. <laughs> but Loch Ness Monster does exist. And he keeps appearing again and again and again. But if you take super anti Loch Ness Monster colloidal alkaline lithium drops... He might stay away from you and your wedding. Anyway, Alex, get the fuck out of here. We didn't ask you to come. That's Alex Jones, guy. He's a good friend of mine. Yeah, he, always a pleasure, Billy and Roach. Another, another, right, another, another, another person care. just stops by. Just they stop by unexpectedly whenever yeah. they want. All right, you know, guys, I don't have to promote you guys. It's okay, Alex. Take care, bro. Be good. Anyway, seven new sightings, right? Right. Right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Somebody shoot me now. A stunned woman enjoying her honeymoon at Loch Ness had a monstrous surprise. Newlywed Rebecca Stewart was... <laughs> monstrous <laughs> was just her <laughs> husband? <was> cock. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was a virgin. She didn't know he had a 16 incher. He fucking <laughs> smacked her with it. Whoosh, oh. <laughs> My eye. That's the problem with the Jesus uh, Christ. Waiting. Right? Right? Anyway, <laughs> this fucking show has got to go. So, <laughs> newlywed Rebecca Stewart was touring with her husband, Paul, when she became the seventh person to spot Nessie this year. Where's this from? Can you this, believe that? Just, yeah. just don't worry about where it's from. Uh, Please, no. Just go with the flow. <laughs> no, I was just wondering because... The, the, it's from a newspaper. They were touring. Pal. They were touring. It doesn't... It, listen, it, let's, we'll get to that. We'll the, get to the, whether it's activity or craptivity at the end. We're going we're gonna to go over all that. Well, all right. it helps let's to listen know to this, where no, the source is coming yeah, from. We'll get to that too. Don't worry. Because <laughs> if I say the source right now, it'll be the end of the fucking skit. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> Mrs. Stewart from Chatter... Why, did you write it? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you fucking prick. <laughs> from Chatterton, Oldham, Lancashire, photographed and saw the large fin shape for five minutes. Her <laughs> husband also saw the creature, which gate crashed at their honeymoon. <laughs> Could you imagine trying to bang your fucking bride and you see the fucking Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> Holy Christ. Bro, unbelievable. Look, if you're doing a bang it, no. You wouldn't would be, be noticing no, no uh, Loch Ness Monster. So that might weigh in with the whole, is it activity or craptivity at the end? Yeah, I mean, cause where, where are you having sex that you can see Dude, the lake? if I know, if I was looking at some shaved. Well, she, she must have been outside. <laughs> they must have been outside. Shaved. Right by the lake, right? <laughs> by the lock? <laughs> by the cock? What lock? By cock? The, by what? the lock? By the lock? Lock. Yeah, they call it locks. <laughs> Why? All right, here's a good one for you. You have to say that, right, prick? What? Right? How to say what? How come you can't put Jews in jail? Why? Because they eat all the locks. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, LaVey. <laughs> leave, them, leave those jokes for LaVey. <laughs> anyway. Oh, my God. Kill me now. <laughs> Kill me now. Oh, God. Here we go. Ready? Hey. So, shot. I cannot condone that joke. I cannot joke. condone that joke. <laughs> oh, God. It was met in, in good humor. 
ingest. If there's any Hebrew folks out there. Ingest. That's right, ingest. Get it? Ingest. They ingested the fucking In locks. locks. <laughs> At least Holy crap! We're throw it on a there. bagel with cream cheese, at least, please. <laughs> yeah, and a bagel. <laughs> anyway, oh fucking a. Where where are you at now? Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. So anyway, now look at Been this. Waiting. Shop manager Mrs. Stewart's sighting on Monday at Fort Augustus has now been accepted by the official Loch Ness monster sightings register. Ooh. It was hard to tell on size. I know they had officials. <laughs> it was hard to tell on size. However, <laughs> birds would fly near it. <laughs> she was in and her honeymoon, for looked, Christ's sake. And they looked very small, <laughs> but not as small as my husband's penis, because I never would have noticed the Loch Ness fucking monster. <laughs> Until Nessie. What Holy the Christ. fuck? <laughs> Oh, you're killing me. Oh, oh it, Jesus Christ. It, he must not have been doing a fucking good job, bro. Can you just read the story? He should have been. <laughs> Besides <dude>. just tearing <laughs> off on a rampage. He should have been making his broad's toes curl, not fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, her toes probably be curled. Were she's probably looking, being curled because she's looking at the she's, fucking sea monster out there. Saying, holy Christ! Oh my God! I wish I had that instead oh of this. My God, please! Why did I get married to this guy? She shouldn't even be looking out the window. Is my point. <laughs> holy Christ! Anyway, oh well, they were on the pier. So here we go. We were on the pier having sex, banging, right? banging her on the <laughs> oh, pier. Okay. Real romantic guy. Yeah. Giving her splinters in her ass on the first fucking night. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Come on, honey, let's do it. It's our wedding <laughs> night. <laughs> Sweetheart, I... I well, were they from America? I don't even remember. What? Were they from America? What if... Were they from America? Do I have to speak Mexican to you I, or what? I don't know. You're the one reading the story. <laughs> do I have to speak Mexican? They're in Scotland, right? Yeah, okay. No, they're in fucking Mexico, pal. I tried asking you before. Anyway. Jackass. Right. What? Right. Where is this coming from? Right. Uh-huh. All right, so it was... Oh, Jesus. Do I have to do this again? Anyway, it was hard to tell on size, however. Birds would fly <laughs> near it. Birds would fly near it. <laughs> and they looked very small in comparison to the thing in the water, oh, no which shit. was shaped like a giant cock. <laughs> We were on the pier, and the thing was over near what looks like a small boathouse. Birds would fly near it and quickly fly away from it, she said in her report. A boat came from the canal, and the thing then disappeared. We didn't have binoculars, unfortunately, and I used my iPhone to take the photos. Oh, shit, they got pictures of it. Look. Look, it's a fucking blur. Yeah. It's a blurp, blurp on the fucking screen. A blurp. Yeah. I've seen clearer pictures of Bigfoot, pal. Right? Right? Right. Mrs. Stewart from Chatterton, Oldham, Lancashire, photographed and saw the large fin shape for five minutes. So that's all she saw? A fin. I guess that's enough when you're talking about a freshwater lake. A lock. Lock means lake, you fucking prick. Yeah, but if you're talking about it, talk about it correctly. Oh, ooh. 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 Yes. Ooh. I drink my pinky up. Oh, yeah, you prick, you fucking. You see, Jet, <laughs> I'm not the only one who fucking drinks their tea with their fucking pinky sticking out. Well, I don't drink it. I don't drink tea because I'm not fag. <laughs> oh, oh. It really hurts when you say that. It hurts. Uh, it'll hurt later. All right. I, z- <laughs> I said that like Uncle Louie. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You, yeah, uh, my uncle's rubbing off on me. Maybe, maybe uh, that person was correct. You yeah. are one in the scene. Well, he's stopping by tonight. He said too. I zoomed in as much as I could, then zoomed the photo I took and screenshot it. The shape of the thing looks like a fin. My husband was with me. We are here on honeymoon, and the sighting took us by surprise. The couple who took several photos of the object were convinced it was a large fin of a shark. (laughs) What the fuck are you doing? (laughs) 
<laughs> oh, God, help me. Oh, somebody kill me. <laughs> oh, okay. So, anyway, I don't know. I don't even want to read the rest of this because it's crap. Do you think it's crap? Uh, I think it's crap. That picture, I mean, we can't even show the, pe- the people what the picture is. It's crap. It's crap. It's crap. Well, I, the thing that really bugs me is that the Loch Ness Monster has been sighted since fucking the dawn of man, practically. Mm. And nobody's ever called it a fin sticking out the water. It's a neck or a hump, and not no, a fin. And no one has any uh, real, real good pictures of it. No, well, there's a couple decent pictures. The original picture taken in like the 30s or 40s yeah, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, that one when you see the neck coming out yeah, like that. Yeah, but that's fake, man. The uh, Well, they say, but that could be misinformation or disinformation. They said the surgeon, that's called the surgeon's photograph, was uh, actually a toy submarine with a clay head attached. So, who knows? I mean, they don't. They wouldn't want you to know that there's like a giant plesiosaur-like creature living in that fucking lock, would they? Well, they want you to think there is. Why wouldn't they want you to know there is? Mm, well... It's a tourist attraction now. It makes money, absolutely. Exactly. So if they could prove that it's there, and they could find actual proof, then they will exploit that. Would you want to go swimming in there if you knew a giant fucking obviously a lot of creature was living in there? No, obviously no one's gonna go. I wouldn't go fishing or swimming in that motherfucker, pal. I'd go fishing in there. I wouldn't go swimming in there. Well, asshole that I am would definitely go there looking for a picture or something, or at least to see it. You know me with the fucking cryptozoology and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, you're going to... I love all you're that You're going to get a great picture with your flip-up phone. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a flip up. Fuck you. I got an Android now, pal. I'll have you know. For the past year, prick. Oh, that's right. You yeah, did, you that's did right. Yeah, I did that because I got tired of people like you making fun of me. <laughs> 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 oh, kill me now, please kill me. So anyway, let's consider the source too while we're at it. Since you were, you were. I was asking. I was asking well, we're gonna tell what you re- what region it was I'm coming from. Tell you right now where it's from. It's from the sun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that explains a lot. <laughs> the sun tabloid. Well, come on, it was fun. I didn't say it was. It wasn't fun. What I was saying is, I want to know whether the story, you know, like where it originated, because from the way, there, the speaking, the the language, that the, was Gaelic. Used. <laughs> <laughs> the Gaelic, the <laughs> Gaelic. No, that's just what you do. <laughs> that's who wrote why. That's why he wanted to know because he knew if it was proper, it'd be Gaelic, and that's what he likes. <laughs> right, Rhodes. <laughs> Oh, oh Lord. my God! Anyway, we love our gay brothers and sisters out there. LGBTQ, PRST, WX, YZ. <laughs> anyway. oh, oh, every letter. Let's add another letter, people, because there's not enough already. No, it's just like the colors of the rainbow. Yeah, well, they're just never ending. Please. <laughs> it's the fucking Teletubbies, every color of the rainbow. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Oh, who's at the door? Oh, no. Dude, you heard that, too? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> you know who it's got to be, right? It's got to be him. Hey! Hold on. You want me to go get it? I'll go get it. Just go get it, yeah, because I know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, we ain't got a fuck enough to worry about. We got to have this fucking prick show up. Yeah, I know. He's probably going to come in empty-handed, too. Oh, Uncle Louie, what a surprise. Hey, what's going on, you fucking uh, Mexican? <laughs> yeah. Uncle Louie, I'm Puerto Rican. I'm not Mexican. Yeah, Uncle Louie, behave yourself. Man. I don't I don't need Why to jump a wall to get over here. Roach? Or swim across the river. Hey, go fuck yourself, <laughs> pal. Where's my tomato pie at, pricks? Well, you're... Where, nef- where is it, Uncle Louie? Why don't you ever fucking bring a pizza with you? It's not pizza, it's tomato pie. Pizza, tomato pie, same shit. You never bring any. 
Hey, go fuck yourself, you, you half a queer fag. <laughs> Give me the fucking headphones, Jerry. It's time for hey, Uncle Louie. Uncle Louie, you know it's not politically correct to call him half a fag or queer. Oh, why well, you want me to call him a full fag? I'll call him a full fag. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just saying that people get offended nowadays. 100% queer? They get offended. Hey, I don't, I don't give a fuck who gets offended by fucking what. All right, pal? I'm 66 years old. I know this. If you don't like it, go fuck yourself, pal. I'm not saying that. I don't like it, but the people that are listening might not hey, like it. You know what? Hey, they don't, they don't like when I come out. Hey, turn the fuck out. Come back on later. Uncle Louie, don't tell my people to fucking tune out, dude. They're not going to tune out. Hey, go out. fuck yourself, uh, Lucas. I'm your <laughs> uncle. Respect your fucking elder, pal. And you are an elder. Uncle Louie, man, really. Relax a little bit. Fuck you, pal. <laughs> Why are you all wind, wound up like that tonight? Why are you all fucking wound up, pumped up for? Listen, if you had a day like I had today, you prick, you might be wound it up too. Why? What happened, Uncle Lou? Ah, uh, you know, it's a problem in the love life. What love life? My love life with a little wahida. You got a love life with and her? And unique one. Oh, I thought Unique was like your niece or some no. shit. Wow. Well, you got to take not, a swap. She's name not with that. really my niece. She's, uh, you know. <laughs> she's family, but she's not family. She's not blood, she's right? Par- she's partially family. <laughs> she ain't my real sister. Nah, she's. <laughs> hey, she's, uh, she's about 20 years younger than in, in Wahida. <laughs> Let me tell you, pal. Well, they wear a Catholic school skirt around you. You see, uh, you got to uh, uh, resist. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know, Uncle Lou. I don't know. I just want to grab her and slather a little tomato sauce on that clam, and let me tell you. What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> I'd lap it up. <laughs> Throw a little mozzarella on there. Oh, jeez. Oh, what? Yeah. Like, you know, like when you're scraping your toenails? Nah, it's you Parmesan. Yeah. <laughs> That's your Parmesan, pal. Right on, the, right on there. Right, oh, God. right. <laughs> I'll get a little ricotta, ricotta cheese out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Throw a little that on there. Go mm. to town, pal. Not like it in the world, there. You wouldn't know you're Mexican. What the hell do you know? Uncle Louie, I told you, I'm not Mexican. <laughs> oh, you look Mexican, pal. Uh, oh, well, You're short and brown. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Trump, build the wall. Yeah, build it. Build that wall. <laughs> Keep these fucking roaches out. <laughs> oh, God. Uncle Louie, you know, you can't say things like that anymore. Hey. And plus, I'm not Mexican. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm already an American citizen. There hasn't been a good... I don't need a green card. Listen, pal. You can call Amiga. You guys... All you want. Call you ice. You guys sneak over here in vans with pockets full of uh, of uh, drugs and taco shells. <laughs> taco shells. Yeah. yeah. They get, sometimes they get crushed up. And, and beans. Yeah, we, uh, and then old black uh, beans. Yeah, then we make the taco salad. Uh, yeah, you come over here and you get they, get they get crushed. You stay. You come over here, prick, and you stand outside at Home Depot with twenty five year other family members waiting for uh, our, uh, uh, the contractor to come pick you up and pay you hundred dollars for the day. And you put good, hard-working Americans out of a job, you fucking prick. What? Go get a job at Taco Bell. I got a job at Taco Bell. They need taco benders. Taco benders? Yeah. Yeah, we need more taco benders. We need more taco benders. It'll make America great again. Make America great? Not with you. (laughs) We'll make America great again when you build a wall. Yeah. Keep you fuckers out. That's right. You want to come in, come in here in America? You, you get to get it legally. Do it legally. That's right. 
I agree. Oh, I'm Danny, do you know Danny Pena? Don't sneak over the Dan- border. Danny Pena would agree with you. That's right, Danny. Tell him this prick. <laughs> Run for the border. Run for the border, Taco Bell. Whatever happened to that little chihuahua oh, for your company? Oh, they made he, him into a taco. He used to work for your company, no? Yeah. Chihuahua. Yeah, it was in my company. What do you used to say? Yo quiero Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Yo, yo quiero taco Bell. Well, you would know. You're a fucking Mexican. I don't know. Yo <laughs> quiero Taco Bell. I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uncle Lou, man, time to wrap it up, bro. <laughs> hey, go fuck yourself, there, you half a fag, you. Why don't you go and sing for those queer metal bands, you prick? <laughs> Uncle Lou, really, man. Come on, man, you're offending people now. Offend my prick, you fuck. <laughs> go fuck yourself, pal. Where's my uh, Majorski you promised me? A couple of shots you told me I was going to give you, Uncle Lou. Yeah, if you brought a fucking pizza, if you brought a pie with you. Yeah, tomato I pie. I would have given you a couple shots of my lot, Uncle Lou. Well, I'm, well uh, I'll bring one next time. That's what you said last time. Yeah, I heard that before. Right, tell him, Roach. We heard that one before. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You should go, bo- go fuck yourselves. Hey, bo- l- both is. Listen, Uncle Lou, we did you a favor. We played your song before. Yeah, well, I, I'm going to tell you something about that song. I, cook my, I broke my balls to do that song. Yeah, I know. You broke your balls. I broke my balls to do that song for my wahita. It took you all 40 hours to just Cause sing she, that song. Because she's a fine girl. I <laughs> love that big ass. Don't you see? Yeah, I know. You want to squeeze it gently. I want to squeeze it so gently. <laughs> so gently. Yeah. Hey, you oh, did it. Uncle, uh, 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 Uncle Lou, I will tell you. Out, Uncle Lou. Hey, go fuck yourselves. Uncle Lou, I will tell you. You did a great job singing that song. Right, right. Yeah. Right. I don't care what your half a fag nephew says. Hey, fuck you, Rose. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. You half of a uh, homo sapien, <laughs> Lucas. All right, time to go, Uncle Louie. Hey, what are you doing? All right, goodbye, Uncle Louie. Goodbye. Get out of here. Goodbye, Uncle Louie. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, this fucking guy, I'll tell you. (laughs) I don't think we should have him on anymore, man. What do you think, Roach? Hey, he's all right. Hey, go fuck yourselves. Parties. All right, Uncle (laughs) Louie, enough. What do we got going oh, on? Oh, man. I think it's time to get back to the music or whatever the fuck we got going on next. I'm afraid to even ask. <laughs> <laughs> what, do we got two people in the chat left uh, after that? It don't matter. Oh, God, help me. We apologize, guys. If, if my what uncle offended at? any of you, guys got to understand he's 66 years old. He comes from a different time, a different place. Different era, different mindset. <laughs> he thinks Nixon was the best president, so, you know, go ahead. Go, fi- go figure, you know. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Well. Oh, you're. <laughs> please, what? just fucking do whatever's coming. Don't even warn him. Just do it. Just do it. All right. We all love right. you all. Thank you for hanging with us. We're going to keep going, guys. Talk to you soon. We're going into overtime. So yes, hang we tight. We're going hang in. Tight. We're coming back on the air. Overtime. Yes, baby. we are. Hello. Yeah, uh, the liquor store? Yes. Hey, Habib, what the hell kind of mezcal you selling over there, pal? What? What kind of mezcal you selling there? Mezcal. Nothing. Yeah. I bought a bottle of that in the Monte Alban over there from you. I don't sell Monte Alban. Well, you don't? No. Well, what, what the kind you got with the worm in it? I bought that, whatever it was. I don't know. It looked like that fucking Jose Cuervo, but Jose Cuervo don't got no worm. I did. Yeah, I don't sell Monte Alban here. All right. Well, you got you got mezcal with the worm, though, right? No. You mean no? I do not have any kind of mezcal in my store. Why not? Why are you prejudiced? I don't sell it. Why not? I don't sell it. Oh yeah. I come down there, pal. You better go get some. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, Muhammad, why'd you hang up on me for? I don't sell mezcal, I told you. All right, well, what else you got over here? Something good? Something that'll get me fucked up? Hey, I you... just, just come here and check it out. You got that Jose Cuervo? Yes. Is it, yeah? Jose Cuervo, is it going to make me uh, a homo sapien? I don't know. You know, no. I want something that's going to kick me right in the nuts, pal. You know what I mean? I don't know what to suggest. Hey, right, I want to do a couple shots with my my this broad that I got coming over. I want to do a couple. I would do a couple shots. I would suck my cock. You know what I mean? Get drunk up. <laughs> what do you think? What do you suggest? I should get. Yes, bird eyes. Drink bird eyes. Couple of ten, fifteen bird eyes, and you. Bird eyes, bird eyes. That's piss water. I need something to get this broad all fucked up. She likes cock. You know what, well, I mean? what I can do with that? God, give me your idea there, Swami. Come on. Talk to me. What do you think? Jack Daniel? I don't know. You come down and it all talk, right? I come down there and you don't sell me some good stuff and I don't get my prick sucked. I'm going to come down there and I'm going to knock your teeth straight down your throat, tough guy. You got me? Huh? Wow. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hey, where's my tomato pie at? Tomato pie? Yeah, hey, my pizza, my tomato pie. Real Italians, we don't call it pizza, we call it tomato pie, pal. <laughs> what was your name? Louis Simone. And by my, uh... My half a fag nephew offered it, uh, ordered it uh, on his phone number. I'm calling from my cell phone. He's too embarrassed to call. What was his name? It just says uh, Chamberlain Avenue, Parma 18. Oh, it just left. Oh, hey, that pie better not be cold, pal. It's not, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it better not be. Hey, let me ask you, let me ask you a question. This phone number here is seven three eight zero six six six. I can't really check right now because I'm on the phone. But I'm what? Are, what are you guys? Oh, is it just that's the Satan number? <laughs> hey, zero six six six. That's the Satan, pal. <laughs> are you high? Are you stoned? Nah. Are you shouting? You smoking a reefer? <laughs> I get the good shit. Hey, throw a little bit of that on instead of the oregano. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that works. Hey, I think they're here with the pizza now, pal. Okay. All right, I like that tomato pie, buddy. You are. You take care. You make good pie. You too. Bye. Bye. Did you hear him though? He's like, da 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 da. Could you imagine being high and working at a pizzeria and Uncle Louie calls you? <laughs> you would stay on the phone just like he did. And starts telling you about the Satan. The Satan. S- did that phone Well, number- dude, the last f- four of their phone number was zero. It is. No bullshit. 666. Six, six. Zero, six, six, six. How fucked up is that shit? I just don't understand how come I haven't been calling them for pizza all this time. Because you're the Satan. No, because if I was you the same, no, you if I was the same, I would be calling them because they have zero six six six. No, you you're the Satan so bad that you don't need to call zero six 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 because you you are the Satan already. That's right. That's right, pal. You what know, did, what you did the say? I'm so bad, I should be in detention. You. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Right. You I'm so need, bad. You I don't need detention. Oh, was, oh, that was from a movie, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Well, Rodney? What the fuck is Uncle Louie doing here? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Never mind all that. I did prick I, fucking I, show back up. I did not even realize that <laughs> you were doing Uncle Louie. Oh, he came over you. He possessed you. Right now. That's become a problem. No. no? He, it, that's... He, Uncle Lou is becoming you. Yeah, I don't know, man. (laughs) 
because you know we run into those situations. You know, you know, off the air, we'll go to the store or something <laughs> like that, and they're like, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I've started adopting it too. And I'm just like, my kids ask me a question. I'm like, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. It's all fun. Oh, no, no. Maybe we got to switch characters. Hello, Roach. Oh, wow. Mr. Hita. Roach. Wahida. I want to suck your dick. I'm sure you do. I love little Mexican dick. I told you I'm not Mexican. I love the cute little Vienna sausages in the can, Roach. And oh. you remind me of a little brown Vienna sausage <laughs> in the can. It's so cute. Y'all should see his dick. His dick be so cute. <laughs> How cute is it? Oh, it's so cute. And make me want to suck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wahida. You know Louie been getting mad. No kidding. That not, nigga, not Louis. That nigga be getting mad. He's so comfortable mm-hmm. with himself. No, he getting mad because I've been speaking of you, Roach. Really? Mm-hmm. What have you been saying, little girl? Oh, I've been speaking of you at home. Oh, yeah, really? I've been telling him. Tell him what? I'm going to smack you in the face of my big brown titties. I think I would love that. I'm going to beat you about the head and shoulders with my breast assist. You got to be soft, though, because I could get a concussion. Oh, they soft. (laughs) Oh, they soft. (laughs) And satiny and silky. Silky. (laughs) (laughs) Silky as the day be long, nigga. Oh, that's a good thing, because I ain't long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you know that. <laughs> I beat you about the head and shoulders and my breastuses. <laughs> oh, jeez. My head will fit right in between them. <laughs> it looks like you look at like a third I heard, I heard that you <laughs> like shaved taco. <laughs> Not your taco. You shave, I shave my taco for you. Yeah, but you're like a taco mess. <laughs> <laughs> I got some nice roast beef taco for you. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> I won't even take a picture of that shit. <laughs> I, I could tie my roast beef in a knot. <laughs> it don't matter if you tie it or not. <laughs> I could tie it in a knot like grape bubble yum. Oh gosh, bubblelicious! <laughs> oh Lord! If you was to take a whole pack, <laughs> if you was to take a whole pack of grape bubblelicious <laughs> and chew that shit up and spit it out, you would have my roast beef. I think the Lord is trying to take my life right now. (laughs) I seriously cannot breathe. (laughs) To to all my listeners. I love you guys. A little little Hellman's mayo on there. A little sandwich bread. Take care of my wife. (laughs) Take care of my kids, please. A little sandwich spread (laughs) for you, Roach. (laughs) (laughs) That nigga be dying, yo. Literally dying. Someone call 911. (laughs) That nigga be dying, yo. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, my God. Yeah, want you to get the fuck out of here, will you? Hey, you're too excitable. Way bye, too, ex- way bye, too bro. excitable. Bye, Roach. I love you, Roach. Hey, I'm sure you okay, do. Okay, I want you to get the fuck out of here. You're oh killing this fucking guy. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. What kind of show is this? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> anyway. <laughs> Maybe I needed that. <laughs> the roach is recuperating. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> fucking why heat is fucking heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he vomited on my floor. Oh. Holy Christ, you're killing me, bro. Terrible, 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 terrible. Oh. oh, my eyes are fucking tearing. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Good thing your cat licked. Good thing your cat licked, pal. Oh, God. All right. I think it's time to say goodnight. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Guys, thank you so much yeah. for sticking with us tonight. Extra. Yeah, we're a little extra. We stayed extra tonight. Usually we've gone we've a, gone, lot, more, yeah, a we've lot more extra. We've usually gone to 11, but we didn't have enough songs loaded up tonight. Oh, God. Oh, raise your hands over your head. It's probably a good thing. <sighs> Jeez, it helps you breathe. Right. Uh, All I know is that I'm happy to have everybody in the chat. I'm overwhelmed with love and emotion. Especially for Jet. <laughs> you home wrecker, you. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> you didn't have to say that. <laughs> I love her. Jet, you're all right. I don't uh, care what the road said that. about you. You'd have to say that too. You know what I mean. I don't mean that way. All right. Well, you know, so not and so, yet. So not and, yet. So and so doesn't think that way. Not yet. <laughs> 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 not yet. Oh, oh my, God. my lord! It's all Jeff Baker's fault. <laughs> Why not? Just blame that Jeff. We're coming in late. Oh. Jeff Baker, uh, it's true. Uncle Louie ends up being at our denim and leather rehearsal, too. Holy Christ, does he? Bobby is becoming <sighs> Uncle Louie. And no. Even. That's not true. Mm. No. I think it's all Jet's fault. No. Yeah. That's your fault. You gotta just... The Jean Take e. your own Thomas. responsibility. It's not her fault. It's, it's her, her fault. It's your fault. No, because she's... Just accept responsibility. No. Accept it. Accept it. Accept no, it. No, because she's Polish, Italian, and Catholic. I am... What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> <laughs> and she enjoys Dutch ovens. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I hope she does not. I didn't... I saw something on chat before, but I wasn't paying attention, and you would not like his. <laughs> yes, you would, Jet. You would. No, she. See, she does not like it. My Dutch ovens are filled with love and emotion. No, they're filled with. <laughs> Don't spray that on the mic. I'm not going to spray it. I'm just going to read what it's called. He's going to spray my Glade on the mic. <laughs> Cozy Autumn <laughs> Cuddle. Cozy Autumn Cuddle. Yeah, that's what he sprays uh. in his house. <laughs> Cozy Autumn Cuddle. Because I like pumpkin spice. Oh, man. Because it's nice. You're so special. Definitely special. Special Ed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's I'm offended by that. Good. I'm offended. <laughs> and you should be. <laughs> I'm offended. That's it. That's it, pal. I'm gonna get a more liberal co host. Someone who's not gonna offend me. Nope. All right. No, nope, no, nope, not at all. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Oh, anyway, what a show, what a show. Oh, the laughs, oh, the fun, oh, the mayhem. The dirt we got from Vince Vatican, Maron. What a great, great, what the fuck are they posting now? Oh, you know right. I got to look. I see some you know. kind of lunchable type. The, these new lunchables. Looks like Wahida's Bush. Hand. What is that, weed? Probably Dane. Uh, it's probably, I mean, Bowman. No, that was Robin. Who did that? Robin. Robin, that. shame on you. You smoked that shit, Robin. <laughs> She's like, yep, then I go to Del Taco. <laughs> you gotta smoke, or or, or in and out. Smoke a spleef, man. In and out burger. Spleef, also. man. Oh, in and out burger. You like that, right, Roach? In and out? In and out? No, Robin loves in and out burgers. Yeah. 
She goes there all the time. <laughs> you love in and out cock, ain't it? <laughs> Just as much as you do. <laughs> hey, where's LC at? I think he's taking a nap. Is he? Or is he picking heady no, cord or fir- not? Firm was, is the one who takes the naps. LC's <laughs> yeah. the one out picking the cola nuts. Firm, you missed it. He was cracking on you before, bro. <laughs> <laughs> throw you under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw you under the bus, Roach. Throw me under the bus. Throw it's you all under right. the bus, nigger. I don't care. He was cracking hard on you, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying, Roach? <laughs> about uh-huh. what? About what? Where Firm was. Oh, I was asking if he was taking a nap. Or? If he had necrolopsy. <laughs> necrolopsy? <laughs> necrolopsy. That's how drunk this nigga is, bro. Necrolopsy. Oh, that's great, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm never going to let you live that down, bro. I will never, never let you live that down. Oh, necrolopsy. Necrolopsy. Oh, that is Why fucking that? gold. That's gold. Why would I say that? I don't know. I don't know. You're fucking gay. (laughs) (laughs) That was gay. What the fuck am I looking for here anyway? I'm looking for something to post for these fucking crazy people in the chat, and I can't find it. Because you don't have it. Oh, my God. Fucking killing me, you guys. Wait, hold on. You see? There you go again, blaming everybody else for your downfalls. No, that's not what I'm looking for either. Oh, I would post this, but Robin would have to give me permission. We but I don't are going to be should. here for another half an hour waiting for you to find the oh, damn picture. I, I would, but... Oh, I know what I'm looking for. Looking for love in no, all the wrong places. places. Looking for love. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Many places. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Colonats. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have the Colonats. LC, if you were here. LC, where are you, LC? He's looking for the Colonats. Are you looking for Colonats? <laughs> uh, Harry Colonats. <laughs> he hates us by now. <laughs> he He's like, does. fuck these guys. That's it. I'm done with them writing them off. That's why he never answers us. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He hates us now. LC, I love you anyway. Love you anyway. Love you, big hairy cold <laughs> nut. I love you anyway, LC. It's okay. Poppy will. It's okay, Poppy he, Chulo. He, he wants to massage your hairy cola nuts. First of all, you don't. That nigger will throw a voodoo curse on you, so. That's all right. I got witchcraft. That nigga, that nigga half, what is he, half Cuban, half Haitian? He'll fucking throw a fucking, like Uncle Louie would say, maloikia on you. He would say that. The maloikia, that's the fucking evil eye, bro. That's... He'll the, throw that shit on you, bro. And the horns are the defense. <coughs> Roach is going to come out of his house one day and see a fucking dead chicken fucking on his doorstep. With a cola nut in his mouth. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't go there. It wasn't me. <laughs> Not me. I didn't say it, LC. You're all right, bro. <laughs> in my playbook, you're the man, cuz. No shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, there's like only three people left in the chat. <laughs> They're like, fuck this, I'm out. Three people? I see 11. I get your back. Not close to that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. You call him macopolipsy or some shit before. No, I said necrolopsy. Necrolopsy, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty drunk, dude. Necrolopsy. <laughs> when he starts sounding like Dave Mustaine, you know he's drunk. <laughs> Kill it. It's my business. <laughs> That bitch no, is good. Metallica kicked me out of the band. They gave me a bologna on hand sandwich. I was faster and better than with them when I was in the band. Faster and better than they must be. I don't know. All right, Alex I Jones. Mean, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Something more like Alex Jones and. James A.P. <laughs> you ain't got nothing on me. We I'm just doing me out of the band after we went to the supermarket. We got him. 
Bologna on a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> does not sound like Alex Jones. Go fuck yourself. No, 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 <laughs> That's totally different. Chat, tell him. Dude, does that sound anything like Alex Jones? No, you got the same tone. Not at all. Yes. Fuck, I get the same tone. Do Alex Jones. Do, do I have to do have Alex him Jones. come in? Do I have to have him come in? Yes, do he's coming. Do I have coming. to have him come in? Yes, he's coming. Oh, no, he's coming. Jesus Christ. It's all, hey, Alex, Don't answer Alex, the door. Man, thanks for coming in, Alex. I appreciate it. All right, boy, Roach. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. How are you doing? Now? Even Jeff said it sounded like Alex Jones. You know, people ask me, <laughs> how do I stay in shape? What, round? They ask me, Alex, <laughs> what do you do to keep that intense muscle mass? <laughs> I'm going in there. How do you stay in such super shape? How do you remain a sexual tyrannosaurus? <laughs> More like brontosaurus. Cock man boner broth. <laughs> Cockman boner broth that's shock full of. (laughs) (laughs) Super chai. Chaga mushroom. (laughs) Bee pollen. Bee pollen. (laughs) Oh my lord. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> this is leaving me like. I think it's time to go. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, have, oh. I have no soul left. <laughs> my well, soul has well, been taken. Roach. Roach, that's because the elite took it. The elite? The reptilians, the Illuminati, you know. Uh, so it wasn't the Satan? Well, Satan's actually Illuminati. Uh, Hillary Clinton, she's Satan. Mm. Bill Clinton, you know, they smell like sulfur. You think so? They smell like sulfur. I have it on good authority. <laughs> They've gotten into the limousines and uh, drivers calling in for wars, and they were taken right into the FBI. Two hours after that they reported to us. The FBI took them in and questioned them. And what happened? They released them to my custody. <laughs> to your custody? What are the kids? Well, no, it's because uh, they're it's we're, like, we're fighting the information war. Oh. Here in Info Horse. I thought you were Info Horse. Yeah, well, we're in fighting. Yeah, I thought you were fighting the horse. We're whores. fighting the information war. You know, the Satanists, the Satanists now are, are running the globe. Satanists are shadow government. The Satanists run the globe. You know, I, don't get me excited, Roach, because, I, <laughs> because I'm ready to tear this place apart now. You know, where pedophilia is all running rampant in Hollywood right now. Again and again and again. <laughs> We have people tell us about pedophilia <laughs> in Hollywood. Nobody wants to listen, Roach. Hey, so now, uh, supposedly Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen did. Oh, um, <laughs> you got with, with Corey, Corey Feldman, Haim. Corey Haim. Uh, the elite are pedophilias, the Satanists, running <laughs> rampant, folks, running rampant. Is it the Satan? It's Satan. I had work with the Illuminati. I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. You know, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our weapons. Ooh, Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey, he's a homo sapien. <laughs> <laughs> he's a homo sapien. <laughs> Kevin Spacey's a homo sapien. He likes 14-year-old penis. Do you know that you're a homo sapien also? No, I'm not. I love JJ. Oh. I love the JJ. <laughs> All shapes and sizes. Even the meatloaf and roast beef. The more roast beef, the better. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you give me some Hellman's, and I'm happy. And some super, I'll give super you some, I'll give colloidal. I'll give you some Hellman's. 
Cool. I'll give you some helmets right here. Give me some super colloidal <laughs> lithium <laughs> silver nitrate drops to keep the dog men at bay. The dog men and the werewolves. <laughs> Roach, I hear the aliens are calling me right now. I gotta go. All right. All I'll right, let you go. Because I got nothing else to say. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm starting to sound more like Dave Mustaine by the minute. So I'm out of here, <laughs> you prick. <laughs> Take care, Alex. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, my Get God. What a boot. fucking crazy show. All oh, right. Jesus. Mary and Joseph, kill me. All right. I think. We- kill me now. All right, you think we've worn out our welcome? Yeah, just a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Great uh, time. Love you guys we all. Love you guys. Chat. And we're going to leave you right now with some merciful fate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Metal Boy and the Roach, baby.